beautiful humans welcome or welcome back to my channel this is lotus style tarot coming at you with another pick a card reading so uh today we have an 18 plus reading so you know the drill if you're not 18 just don't tell i won't <laughs> no but seriously if you're not 18 probably best that you leave this reading alone um but if you are over the tender age of 18 <laughs> welcome um it's you know, my 18 plus readings always get me in my awkward giggly face um, because this is how I flirt with people. If if uh, me being irreverent and uh, giggly is going to bother you through the reading, then I'm just going to tell you right now, it's probably not going to be a good reading for you. Um, so if you're looking for uh, somebody that's a little more serious, then, you know, by all means, not every reading is meant to, not every reading, not every reader is meant to uh, resonate with you, right? Um, we're all different. We're all human. Um, that's what makes us beautiful. So, oh, pile three is, it's like, can we just get going here? <laughs> Too hot to handle. Oh, maybe somebody was just watching that on Netflix. Um, <laughs> anyway. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into what the reading is about. So this is about what will happen next. What will happen the next time you see your person? Um, yeah, and this is 18 plus, so it's going to be pretty much what is going to happen between you two sexually. Okay, let's just be open and honest here. Um, so we've got four piles today. They're all going to be using the Casanova Tarot, which is um, a very fun tarot deck, um, but it is definitely very uh, provocative. Um, and so I have to cover up some of the images just because uh, they are very inappropriate. <laughs> But pile one, we've got this little dragon and that came out for you. So spicy pile one. You're powerful. Powerful and spicy. Okay, for pile two, we have the little um, ice cream charm. So <laughs> the cherry. Yep. Somebody wants to pop the cherry. <laughs> oh, wow. We're... Oh, it's going to be a reading today. <laughs> I can just tell. Um, pile three, if this will focus, is the little Starbucks cup. So somebody may have just been reading reading Starbucks. No, they could have been reading and drinking a Starbucks drink. Maybe you were reading in Starbucks. Maybe you were reading like a smutty book. Naughty, naughty, pile three. Um, <laughs> but pile four, um, you got the little flip flop. So hmm, I just got switch from this energy like maybe you two like to switch energies subdom roles coming through but i was actually thinking uh before that came through a uh, vacation possibly um yeah so take as much time as you need to uh meditate over the piles and i will see you um in your reading see you soon all right welcome back pile one if you chose this little dragon pen and this is going to be a reading today. We're going to set them off to the side so you can still see it. Um, and yeah, your card will come out later. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's let's dive right in. Um, so with you being drawn to the dragon, there could be something about like, maybe there's a rebirth currently happening between the two of you, or you had like a very fiery beginning, like it's very passionate. Um, your person definitely sees you as uh, very powerful, very magnetic as well. So we're going to do an energy check as always, because uh, I just think that's important. <laughs> um, so you're going to be on this side, and your person will be on this side. So um, switch the energies around as needed. If you feel like you resonate more with this side, then you know this will be more of your energy. Um, but... Uh, if you feel like you're seeing yourself in both sides of the energy check, then that's just a sign of mirroring, which is totally okay. Um, so, yeah, let's get into your cards first. So we've got the archetype of femme fatale. So this is not gender specific. You can be um, identifying as any gender. And gender. Maybe you have red hair. Um, maybe, actually. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, but, yeah, maybe... Uh, what I meant to say was um, you can identify as any gender. Um, this is more of just a feeling. Also, this is just a feeling came through 
just now from Verite. Um, so maybe that's a song that you want to check out. Okay, okay. Um, Firefly, yeah, your person is afraid that like, this is just a feeling on your side and they want it to be more. Is that, that those are kind of the lyrics of the song. Ideation is coming out as well. So you look really good in red. <laughs> you look really good in red pile one. Um, your person really likes it when you wear red. Your person really likes when you wear red lipstick, if you wear lipstick. Um, we have Aries, yeah, very fiery, very feisty. They like that. Um, you could have an Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising, maybe Venus or Mars, maybe even Mercury. Um, but yeah, they, they like this, this uh, Aries attitude. Um, we have house one. Oh, more Aries energy. So yeah, the first house coming through individuality, self image and approach to life. So um, Okay, so Can I oh, oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, <laughs> you could make your person feel um, Like they're all over the place a little bit. Um, yeah, that's just coming through. Well, all right, we're just gonna lay those out like that for now. Um, so we've got for your person teacher, and they actually came out with two archetype cards, which I thought was interesting. Um, they came out with virgin as well, and they came out like right on top of one another, just like this. So those two cards came out. Um, and then eagle came out for your person as well. We did get ghost, so they could have ghosted you, pile one. Um, they they were scared. <laughs> they were they were definitely scared. Um, but maybe they're trying to make a comeback here. Uh, yeah, you could be asking about somebody that ghosted you recently. We have cancer, so could be an Aries and a Cancer. Um, so two cardinal signs. So, uh, maybe they're a bit of a homebody, and you are more of like you like to go out and have fun that's just something that's coming through we have jupiter as well coming through so sagittarius energy grow and expand um and actually i think i'm gonna put these up here yeah i like that okay so <clears throat> let's talk about it so i'm actually gonna talk about the way your person sees you um, and then I'm going to talk about the way you see your person. Okay. So the way that your person sees you, and this is, keep in mind, this is going to be their interpretation of you. So some of it might resonate with you and you might be like, yeah, that's me. 444 came across the timer just now. So maybe that's an angel number that you're paying attention to, or maybe that was something like a sign you were looking for. Um, definitely a lot of divine protection. Um, yeah. With the dragon, I think you're very protected pile one. Um, but yeah, it, you might see some of these same things in yourself, but some things might be like, what? Like, I'm not like that. And it's it's more because this is coming from your person's lens. Um, so how they see you, they see you as a femme fatale. Again, you can be any gender watching this. Um, this is just highlighting that, well, it says the erotic energy of the feminine. Um, yeah, I think... There's an incredible amount of receptivity here to you. Um, like you, you can just sit and things just come to you. Like people just flock to you and your person um, is very intimidated by that because uh, they might be a little bit shy, honestly. Um, but yeah, you have something very sultry about you, pile one, um, a very effortless, timeless like natural beauty to you as well um just everything about you screams sex <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm laughing not because of that but because i just oh wow maybe you and your person bonded over the show the office or maybe this is just my head um but spirit just gave me a download of um if you've seen the office there's a part where Holly is talking about how sexy she thinks Michael is <laughs> and she's like the man just um he just oozes sex and like it's him like eating a big bucket of <laughs> cheese balls <laughs> it's just 
it's like cheese dust all over his face. Now for you, I, I don't know why that's coming through. Your person, you and your person might have like really liked laughing together or you do make each other laugh or something. You could have a really like irreverent sense of humor and like be really funny and like good at like, um, like not taking yourself too seriously is what I just got. Like you come off so intimidating pile one, but I actually think you're very sweet in moments. Like it's like surprising, like you're very down to earth. Um, that's the, the vibe I'm getting. Like you're, you're funny. Like you're, <laughs> there's something very fun about you. Um, and I think part of that is your humor, you know, like you could be again, very irreverent, um, coming through, uh, and I think you're very unapologetic about it. Like, you're just like, <laughs> like, sorry, not sorry kind of energy, you know, um, not to go back to like 2011, but, um, anyway, uh, you actually are someone who oozes sex appeal, by the way, just FYI, like you really are. And you might know this about yourself. Um, you know, people could comment about you having like bedroom eyes. Um, there's something about your eye makeup, like when you do it, that's really beautiful. Like maybe you do like siren eyes or like a fox eye makeup or something if you wear makeup. Um, or maybe you just have like, I don't know, like the snatched eye, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's really beautiful. Um, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to really explain that right now. I'm, I'm just, I think you really, um, honestly, pile one, I think you make this person unable to, um, find words. I, oh my gosh. I'm getting a lot of like movie downloads or show like media shows. Um, maybe your person's like a movie buff or something, but, um, I just got never been kissed and, um drew barrymore's character at one point she's the the guy that she has a crush on is like like in high school asks her to go to prom with him and her friend comes and tells her and she's like speechless and her words are her life and that's what she says she's like i'm speechless like i have no words this has never happened to me before that might be like your person with you that's you get them tongue-tied um, yeah, you just, you make their heart race, like, um, oh my gosh, I just got head and heart, um, my head and my heart, uh, what is that song? Yeah, there's a, if you know the song, it, please comment it, because I totally just blanked on the name of, I think it's head, head and heart, but I can't think of who it's by, um, but that's what you do. Like, they're like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> like, by the one, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, you might be a uh, year of the snake, by the way. I don't know why that, that was coming through for me. Um, and I think it's because it looks like there's a snake tattoo on this person. And it made me think year of the snake. Uh, maybe you do have a snake tattoo. Maybe it's because you are year of the snake. Um, or snakes could be very important to you. Even with you getting the dragon, dragons kind of give me like serpentine vibes. Um, so yeah um you might want to listen to the album serpentina uh by banks it's great it could be like your your whole anthem <laughs> it could be that album um you know speaking of femme fatales um but yeah um something that you might know about yourself and your person might not totally know this but something for you is that um I was getting, whenever I was meditating on your energy, that you may have been in a string of codependent relationships in your life. Um, like there could have been toxicity um, in some way in a lot of your past relationships. And it was like this loop, this cycle that just kept happening until you finally stopped that for yourself. Um, like you recognized it and you decided to reject that in yourself and healed your heart space. Um, yeah, that's that's something that's really coming through. Um, there's something really sexy about your back, which now I'm getting, I'm bringing in sexy back. <laughs> okay, but yeah, um, your person feels like you are the definition of sexy. Like when they think of that term, like when they think of that descriptor, they're like, oh yeah, that's pile one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like dictionary, but you know, there's the picture right there. Um, that's how they feel about you. Um, 
there's something about Kali coming through here. Maybe you um, are very connected to the goddess Kali, um, or maybe this is a sign for you to get connected with Kali. Um, also, Kundalini awakening is coming through. You know, this could have been the thing that you really awakened yourself to. Um, it could have like inspired creativity in yourself with this other energy that's coming through for you. Um, but also, I think with Kali coming through, I really do think like the goddess Kali might like really work with you. She might really protect you um, because with Finn Fatale, right? Finn Fatales are about harnessing darkness and destruction and turning that, transmuting it into power for themselves, right? Um, it's like the dark feminine energy. Um, and I think you definitely have that capacity. Like, again, I got that you transmuted and up leveled in some way, like you have risen like Phoenix from the ashes a little bit. Um, yeah, I just like, I mean, Kylan, I just think you're hot. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like, holy moly. Um, but you might be, um, someone who has like a vampy kind of style, like maybe you wear dresses, like maybe you like to show off your back or you just like to show off your skin. Like you're very comfortable with your body. And I think that this is amazing. And you're, oh, I will say your person definitely thinks it's amazing. They find you so alluring. Like when you do this like little over the shoulder look at them, like they're just like, oh, be still my heart. <laughs> I think your person is like such an intellect. So it's cute. Like I love, I love these two energies together. Um, but yeah, you come off like a siren. Um, that might be a card that's been following you around as well. Like if you've been watching some of my other readings, you might be constantly getting the siren card. Um, and that's because you are. And if not, that's okay. But um, yeah, like there's this natural charm and flirtation to you and your person loves this. Like they're very drawn to you, like a moth to a flame type energy here. Um, I'm getting like, maybe you resonate with like Catwoman specifically, like Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, because that's like my jam, but Catwoman in general is great, right? Selena is great. Um, but uh, oh, I just got like Selena, like the singer Selena as well. Maybe somebody like kind of looks like that. Um, maybe someone's... Uh, from Mexico or um, is Latin American. Uh, yeah, but um, I was I was actually thinking like, you might wear um, like a lot of leather, um, maybe you're into like wearing collars or uh, chokers are coming through for me. Something about your neck, your neck area, your collarbone area. It's like your person like really finds that sexy and like wants to like, just bite and suck and kiss everywhere <laughs> all over it. Um, but we also have uh, like this, oh my gosh, the song Man Eater just came through. Like I totally just got uh, the song Man Eater. And I just forgot who freaking sings that song. That's terrible. Um, but, but yeah, um, very powerful energy. Um, like, oh man all the movie quotes. I just heard Gimli's voice, which I've gotten this before in a different reading, and I could not tell you which one anymore, but um, all who look upon her fall under her spell. So like your person feels like almost like witch vibes a little bit from you or, you know, like very mystical, mythical vibes. Um, but yeah, Gimli talking about Galadriel and Lord of the Rings, maybe uh, you two like Lord of the Rings or something, or you just watched like Rings of Power when it came out and bonded over that or something but yeah there's um there's just there's like a danger about you um and why did lion king just come through i laugh in the face of danger ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and then and then they're really scared um <laughs> little simba and Nala. um but anyway when they're in the the elephant graveyard uh but yeah there's something very mysterious very intriguing um 
I'm getting like Miss Scarlet vibes from Clue now. Uh, maybe you have seen that film, which is great, but I could totally see that. Like, again, like there's something about like the way you just like cross your legs. Like I'm seeing Miss Scarlet in that film sitting against the desk and the dress that she's wearing, like it's like super tight. Uh, she knows exactly how to like dress herself and like how to like, like lure you in, right? Like very um, Black Widow is coming through. So maybe like Natasha Romanoff is like a character that you really vibe with as well. Um, but yeah, like just, you know, she uh, knows how to like play coy and also be like super dangerous and stuff. Like both of those characters do, um, but yeah, uh, Black Widow, you know, you could be like a badass. Maybe you do like martial arts or something. I don't know, that just came through, but, um, uh, but one of the things that, so, like I said, I was getting, like, um, you know, like, classic beauty, so I'm thinking, like, you know, old, classic, femme fatale, like, film noir, um, people could feel like you kind of have that silver screen beauty to you, like, very timeless beauty to you, um, like, like, you almost belong in a different era, maybe you wear clothes that are, like, uh, vintage, um, but something that your person really likes about you is that you can't be tamed. I mean, even with all of this Aries energy, like you are your own person, like nobody's going to tame you. Like you're a dragon, like how to tame your dragon. Well, good luck. <laughs> like, that's all I have to say. This isn't the movie version. Like this isn't Disney here. Like this is real life and good luck taming me. Can't be tamed by Miley Cyrus now full blast in my head. Um, but you know, like for all of your beauty, um, your person sees you as someone who is so multifaceted and complex, right? They see you as creative. They see you as strong and powerful, like intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, like they feel outmatched by you, pile one. Um, like they feel like you could just like eat them up and swallow them whole. And like, in, in some ways they kind of like that, but like in other ways, it's a little bit terrifying for them. Um, you know, you're, you've got everything going on like everything in spades i just heard um i'm getting uh like laura croft vibes and like ava from uh ex machina as well and vex oh my gosh yeah vexalia from uh the legends of vox machina or campaign one vox machina if you know what I'm talking about for Critical Role for all you critters out there. I'm totally getting that vibe. Yeah, like you can sweet talk anybody into anything. Um, but yeah, your person is just honestly like with this other energy with the femme fatale, like your person is incredibly drawn to you, pile one. They they are inexplicably and uncontrollably drawn to you. They You are their ideal. Like it, it's like they they feel like they they manifested you into existence almost like they're like this is like they thought like as a kid they were like this is like like um like I want somebody just like this and and then as they got older they were like that person doesn't exist so ha 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 like yep never gonna like fall head over heels in love with anybody um and then <laughs> Like, nobody will have that kind of power over me. And then they met you and they were like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this person has all the power, all the power over me. Um, like, yeah, you, you have so much pull. Um, but yeah, you could have some air placements as well as Aries placements. So you could have like Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or Libra really heavily in your chart. Um, but yeah, they see you as the human embodiment of the star card. So Aquarius vibes coming through really strongly now. Um, maybe you're an Aquarius rising. I don't know why that just came through, but um, they may feel like you, again, I was getting this, like they, they feel like they're outmatched by you. So they kind of feel like you would lose interest in them very quickly with this firefly energy coming through. Um, like 
you are their muse, but they feel like they could never be your muse. Like they feel like they could never be your ideal type. Like they're like, I'm not, we're not worthy. We're worms, worthless worms. <laughs> Hercules coming through now. Um, I'm telling you, this person I feel like watches a lot of movies. Um, <laughs> or somebody does. Uh, but yeah, they, they feel like you need a lot of freedom and they want to give that to you. Like they don't want to tame you. They want to just let you be wild and free. Um Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift coming through. Uh, but yeah, they, they love they love your creativity. They love like your power and the way that you can just effortlessly fly and be yourself. And like you are unafraid of your individuality. Like you have a good self image. Um, you have like this fiery approach to life. Um, you're a go getter. And like they love this about you pile one now but with them now who are they so this is interesting um i feel like your person is um maybe some sort of teacher or like a spiritual guide or something because they did come out with the virgin energy as well um they're very cerebral. They're like, they're coming out as an air placement too. So they could have a lot of air in their chart, maybe uh, air and water, or like maybe they have Sagittarius as well. So maybe they have a lot of air, water and fire. Um, but I'm, I was primarily getting like air and water, but I could, I could see Sagittarius. Um, but anyway, uh, they have a very quick mind and a quick tongue, ha ha ha, but they do. Um, <laughs> they're really good at keeping people intrigued, good at conversations. Um, like they keep things very interesting. They may have like approached you and it was like such a, like a different approach. It was so honest and um, it was just really cute. Like there's something kind of cute about your person. Like they're not like, like they could be very sexy, but I kind of see them being more cute with this energy than sexy. Like you're really sexy. And like this person could just be like, I don't know like adorable in a way um not but i feel like they can turn it on you know like mm -hmm, like behind closed doors um but yeah this person knows a lot about a lot like they could keep you really intrigued and engaged mentally and i think that's actually something that really uh attracts you like you know for as you know physically attractive as you are like i think you're someone that's like you know <laughs> swan prince is coming through like uh you know sure i'm beautiful but like what else you know like what else and people that are like well what else is there you're like bye see you later prince derek you know <laughs> like, um <laughs> but this person came up and they were like you're beautiful but like your mind is beautiful and like i love like your creativity and i love your individuality and like i don't want to tame you like i want to like I want you to tame me like i want you to dom me and stuff like and you could be like oh la la like black lilith vibes coming over from this side like maybe you have like aries and lilith which same <laughs> and that is a powerful placement my dear um so especially sexually so um yeah but your person like they didn't want just that with you they don't want just that with you um i'm getting like kind of Hermione Granger vibes from them a little bit. Um, like, they don't have to be a feminine or anything like that. Like, they, again, gender specificities aren't really a, a thing here. But like, um, I'm getting like, like they could be kind of a know-it-all at times. Um, but it's like almost like endearing with them. Um, maybe there are uh, maybe there are some Virgo placements here as well I was kind of getting that just now um I definitely think they're a little bit on the introverted side um and they're constantly looking to like grow and expand themselves and their mind especially like they really like philosophical conversations you could have had really deep talks with them like maybe you two have been intimate but like i could see like you two like you know in like the aftercare like you're like laying together and cuddled and it's like you talk about like the meaning of life after you just had mind-blowing sex and it's just like wow this was the most magical night in the world but like for real like I, mm -hmm, i'm about it i can get down with this energy for sure um not that i'm coming for <laughs> either of you but i'm just like yeah that's 
I can understand why you would be like, yeah, this was great. And like, why did they ghost? Um, this person may have, like I said, I, if they ghosted, I feel like they ghosted because they, their feelings with cancer got like so deep for you so fast. And like, um, it could have really scared them. And I'm actually seeing like now, like, you know, the, you're facing them and they're facing away. Like, I feel like they got so in their head, like their thoughts really took them over here. Um, if you haven't like had anything with them and they haven't ghosted you, um, maybe this is like a warning that they do have this tendency to ghost because maybe they get really scared of their feelings. You know, with a virgin um, in its shadow, it can be a fear of intimate union. So maybe that's something that they're healing right now because the eagle is about transformation. So maybe this is something that they're expanding and growing on is learning how to not just ghost. Um, I do think that this person is a very talented person. <clears throat> like they're a good problem solver. They give good advice. Um, you know, they, they're the kind of person that you, you would turn to like if you were going through like a desperate time and you needed help you know like they can help they they're very very wise and smart um they just have so much knowledge uh for them they really do believe in like the whole knowledge is power um again like there's something with cancer here and virgin um you know they may not actually be a virgin they could be like and so yeah, maybe that's something that you found out about them and, and maybe they got scared of that and they were like, oh my gosh, no. And they like left because they were like embarrassed. Um, but like, like their heart, like cancer is facing this way. And like, that's why I'm like, I think they actually are still like watching you to some capacity if they left, like they're still longing for you. But yeah, there's like a purity to this person. They could be like really, really sweet, maybe a little bit naive or innocent in a way. Like I could see like you making like a sexual joke and it just being like, it like goes over their head. They're like, what? <laughs> and it could make you laugh because you're like, oh my gosh, you're silly. Um, but yeah, they could just like not get it. <laughs> Um, which is funny because they're so smart. Um, yeah, but I do think they're a very honest person. You know, they're, uh, they're someone who's really looking for, again, the meaning of life keeps coming through. Like they're, they're always searching for meaning in things, always searching for the truth. Um, very like noble, uh, they could be physically very strong as well like they could have like if you two were together sexually like they could have like picked you up and like you could have yeah like they could have held you for a long time um and that could have been fun but like uh they could be quite a bit bigger than you like in stature um which you could really like it could make you feel like very protected by them um but yeah like maybe they work out a lot or they're just like built bigger um they're definitely always working to be the best version of themselves here. Like, they're not afraid of, like, a challenge um, or stepping into the unknown, you know, death and rebirth here. So maybe some Scorpio vibes as well now coming through. Um, yeah. But uh, you could have had maybe a karmic past together, like, in some way, like, you played out some karma together. Um, and then you had to separate to learn lessons. And then now you're like <clears throat> asking about like what will happen when you two come back together because maybe you're both longing for each other. But I know that was a really long energy check, but we already got some uh, 18 plus messages from. All right, so let's get into your tarot messages now. So we've got the moon coming out. Okay, so some carnal all night intensity happening there i had to yep i had to cover these um we've got the nine of cups so i mean still i think you get the gist here um hmm, yep nine of cups coming out we have the seven of cups coming out so lots of oral fixation here maybe yeah like just kidding they've got a good tongue they like yours too <laughs> Um, we've got the five of swords coming through. So, hmm, 
kind of like really are into you dirty talking them like they kind of want you to like almost like fight with them or like command them just came through we've got uh the emperor coming through so yeah there's that commanding energy um yeah they want you to like call the shots um the four of swords yeah they want you guys to just take it all out of each other um and on each other we have the uh queen of pentacles so yeah they really really like the way that you look and smell and taste down south we have the ten of pentacles as well which is lovely um so i'm not yeah okay all right <clears throat> Okay, so what will happen next time you see each other? Uh, 18 plus version. Okay, so um, after you have a talk about whatever happened in the past, um, whether that was a ghosting, um, a relationship or situationship or, um, or what, like whatever, uh, or if that doesn't resonate, like, the, the next thing that happens between you is that hmm, they take you home for the night and or this isn't the moon this is the star oh my gosh this is the star oh oh okay well still they take you home for the night they take you home for the night but yes so i am strongly strongly getting a rebirth a rebirth situation here um you two i can totally i just saw two people um meeting up and deciding to talk and like maybe like have drinks or um have dinner or something um and just catch up with each other and i'm seeing like you know you both are honest and just say like what I just heard John Mayer say what you need to say come through. Um, so yeah, you, you both say what is on your heart, what is on your mind, um, what your truth really is with this star card and all of the sparks that were there between you just start going off. Like, dynamite you know it's like the two of you can barely withhold like jumping each other's bones in public <laughs> um you might actually sneak off um and start things um <laughs> in a like it, like a, you just got like a cupboard or something like or you like hide away in like a dark corner or like I don't know, you go off to like a secluded area, but you almost like have to like stop um, and just feel each other again, because this was your wish. You know, you were this person's wish and they are, I think your wish too, like wish fulfillment coming through very strongly. Um, they want to taste you again so badly and they want to feel your lips on them like they really really miss your mouth they miss how uh wet you get um they miss how wet you get them uh i just heard like nobody does it like you like <laughs> nope nope um and yeah it's just like it's like fireworks um oh gosh katie perry fireworks coming through now uh baby you're a firework like this person really sees you that way um and then they take you back home either to your place or their place and they worship you like they worship you for a long time um like they put in some hard work <laughs> emphasis on hard possibly um but yeah like they are tireless in their efforts um i mean like they they really they really get after it they make love to you um with the seven of pentacles uh they want to show you like 
how much they've missed you, how much they've missed like working your body. Like I, I see somebody like just like flipping you over and like uh, like trying different positions and like doing anything they can to please you. Um, and they like want you to like be, you know, very vocal. They want you to be very like physical and they want to like unleash the beast. Like they want to unleash you. Um, like they want you to be like clawing and scratching and biting. Um, and again, with this five, five of swords, yeah, I think like they want the two of you to like heal the past through this sexual encounter. Like that conversation that you had was like the first step. And then for them, it's like, let's, um, you know, it's like that makeup sex, you know, like that's exactly what this is. Like, it's like, it's makeup sex um, is, is what it feels like, you know? Uh, they, I'm telling you, there's something about like really getting turned on by like your dirty talk. Like they really like, when you um when you talk dirty to them but also like there's something about demanding things like they want you to tell you tell them exactly what you want exactly how you want it like not because they want you to like direct them and they're they're clueless like they don't know what they're doing but it's like no they um they like whenever you take over and you're dominant over them um like they want you to like overpower them especially with your words like there's something about like like telling them like, I want this right now. And it's like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Tell me. <laughs> like They love that. Um, they, again, there was, I knew there was something coming through about like a choker and like, um, oh yeah. Like choking could be a thing that they like, or that they want you to do to them or vice versa. Um, but they really love like your shoulders, your neck, your collarbone area. Like that's coming through very strongly. Um, they, they want this to change the dynamic of your relationship, especially with this coming out over the 10 of pentacles. Like they want a happily ever after with you in multiple ways. <laughs> they want you to both, you know, reach, uh, you know, ultimate pleasure with each other. They want you to have your climax together, but like, um, which they want the two of you to like, like their fantasy is like, <laughs> the next time that you two are together, they're gonna work really hard to like, make you uh climax multiple times but like they want that to happen together like that's like that's the dream that's the dream um <laughs> but um yeah they at the end of this you know they want this ten of pentacles moment they want a family with you they want to be with you like they want a relationship with you. They want to show you that they've changed, that they have transformed, that they were thrown into that, you know, transformative fire in the ego card and that they've mastered themselves and their fear of this relationship, of being beside someone that is so powerful. Um, like they want to be your emperor, you know, and this doesn't have to be, again, this does not have to be gender specific here, but they want to show you that they can, that they are in their power that they have a good structure and foundation. Um, and in a more 18 plus way, like they could want to like, maybe like switch with you. Like maybe in the past you were always the one that was more dominant and maybe this time they want to like kind of change it up and like, they want to be more like they're, I get the sense that they're more of like a four of swords person. Like they're very peaceful, like maybe more non-confrontational as a person. Um, but they want to like show you that they can go there like they can turn it on they can flip that switch literally um and command as well like so i'm seeing the energy like really uh twisting and um shifting in this and all of a sudden like they're the ones barking orders and like you know um <laughs> They could like figuratively or I mean, it could be physically too. Like, I don't know, maybe um, maybe this is on like Halloween or something and like they have like a costume on or something. And I don't know that that could be a thing. But I was going to say more figuratively, like they're taking off their mask. And they're being real in this moment, like 
they are being authentically themselves and being very sexually free with you. Like their fantasies that they've really um, maybe like held back. Like they may have like imprisoned part of their sexuality and like you've helped them release that. And like they are really showing you like how powerful they are sexually um, with this queen of pentacles. Like they are obsessed with your genitalia. <laughs> um, they think it is beautiful and they want to worship it always. Um, like they, I'm telling you, like it keeps coming through, like they miss it. Like I just heard like, oh my gosh. Um, oh, what is that song? Um, so Good by, ooh, Kosh and, ooh. Who's, who sings that song? Um, but anyway, like, I was getting, like, um, if I could quit my job and F you all day, shit, I would. Like, if I could quit my job and fuck you all day, shit, I would. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, they really would. That's the thing. Like, they would love nothing more than to devote themselves to worshiping your body. Like, they love, uh, there could be like, um, anal play, uh, like they could, like, if you're into that, like they really, like, I don't know if you've tried that before or something, but like, that's something that they really want to do. Like they really, really like your butt a lot. Like you have a really nice, um, you know, rear end to them. Like they really like, I just heard like, I hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you walk away. Like they love that. Like they love your butt like it's just delicious and juicy and yeah like they want to worship like all parts of you um but yeah there's something about like wanting to taste like all of you if you know what i'm saying um and there's something about like also like this night like they want to like they might like command you to like touch yourself and let them watch like there's something about like them kind of being voyeuristic in parts of this that they really really enjoy like they want to see you like pleasure yourself maybe they want you to watch them do the same thing um and like kind of like torture each other in that way a little bit um like i could see that happening at one point like they could like really edge you and vice versa like it could go on like all night i'm not even joking like i think it goes from like dusk till dawn like yeah um, so that's what I'm getting from the tarot. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's go ahead and look at your Oracle messages now. So we've got some cards that have lots of nudity. So, um, we've got 23, the naked self with, uh, Lilith and Leo coming through. We've also got, I've got to cover this one too. Um, the creative intimacy card with the number 17 coming out and Lilith in uh, Capricorn. And finally, we have 32, the garden at the top of the world um, with moon and Aries. So there's more Aries energy coming through. So you could definitely have some Aries placements heavily in your chart, maybe moon and Aries specifically for someone. Um, the number 17 could be significant. I am actually thinking... Uh, with that, is that not the star card? Is that not the star card? Like, no, wait, that's not the star card. What? Why am I totally forgetting what number 17 is? Oh, well, um, hold on. Okay, so always trust your instincts. That's what I just got. <laughs> always trust your instincts. Yeah, 17 is the star card. So yes, they want to create new intimacy with you. They want this rebirth with you. They want to work on this with it coming out as Capricorn energy. Like, again, there's something about like really worshiping your body, really showing you like how much they want to work on this relationship with you, not just this physical relationship, but like every part of the relationship they want a relationship with you is the point here 
Um, 23 and 32 could be significant. I'm also seeing like mirroring because of that, because 23 and then 32, like you just flip flop the numbers here. Um, so there could be mirroring happening in this connection. Maybe um, your person is a Leo, you're an Aries or something. Um, they, again, like they're obsessed with you living in authenticity and like that makes them want to live in authenticity and embrace their own like naked truth i heard um in this encounter like in what will happen next i'm telling you like they don't care if people see you <laughs> or not like i'm telling you like it's going to be hard for the two of you not to just jump right on top of each other and strip each other bare and just like have sex right there in the restaurant or like wherever you're at the bar um they would not care like who was watching they would just be like yeah go ahead look like they could they could really be into this idea of like public sex possibly like could really be into um just like i don't know the idea of like an exhibitionist a little bit uh sorry i bumped the table there again um with the number 32 here, the garden at the top of the world, um, the climax that the two of you are going to bring each other to, and they want to bring you to multiple, is going to take you out of this world. Like, it's going to bring you to the top of the world, and, like, you're going to, like, float back down. Like, they love the expression that you have whenever you do, like, finish. Um they love that. And like, they want to see you like disheveled afterward. Like they want your hair to be a mess. Uh, they want you to like wear their shirt afterwards or like, you know, just be wearing a t-shirt. They love your legs. Like I can totally see them like kissing up your legs to like, you know, uh, taste you. Um, there's also something about your hands. Like they love and missed the feeling of your fingers on them and around them. Um, but yeah, someone could be 23 in this connection or 32. I'm also getting that this adds up to the number five. And so a couple of things. They really want massive amounts of change. Like they want this new beginning with this star card with like 17 coming through again. Um, but they also like the number five is representative of the Hierophant. Like they want a real committed connection between the two of you. That is like what would bring them to the top of the world truly, right? So gonna go ahead and close it out with <clears throat> some more of my little message cards and then maybe we'll get some letters numbers and charms but i don't know this, there's a lot of these so we have pride a lot came out for you um they have a lot of pride in you we have january so someone could be born in january we were seeing some capricorn influence there at the end and with like the all the pentacles energy but yeah it could be an aquarius or a um a capricorn or maybe january was when you two met your dream is closer than you think um yeah like they they dream about you all the time pile one like they think about you all the time they fantasize about you they're closer than you think like this is closer than you believe it is what you seek is seeking you too yeah like they are seeking you they want to be with you they're trying to figure out how to come back we have i dream about your lips oh yes they dream about all of it <laughs> they dream about kissing you um if you know what i'm saying like if you're um, a female identifying person and yeah like mm -hmm, yep uh you're already here so you may as well spend the night yes um they're going to want you to next time you see each other and this happens like they want you to stay the night with them like they don't want you to leave ever but they don't want you to leave that night they want to like wrap your their arms around you and like hold you like cuddle and stuff delusional they could feel like their desire for you is delusional and this is what ultimately led them to walk away and ghost perception is everything and yeah spirit is trying to remind them that like this is their perception and that's why they got thrown into this like transformative fire right like even this coming through in red there could have been like a like something in their past that really made them believe that they were less worthy than they actually are. Like someone could have told them they weren't, you know, good enough, weren't attractive enough. 
we have Mars in Virgo. So yeah, very hard worker. Um, yeah, they, uh, very clean, like they want to make a mess with you, but they would be very good about like cleaning up after themselves and after you and everything. Um, but also like, yeah, they can take direction. Well, they, they want to please you like acts of service coming through, like they want to service you um during this encounter witty i do think they miss your wittiness like they miss like your little like tit for tat like funny like little i don't know like back and forth together um we have get outdoors you could be an outdoorsy person or they could be um maybe they like want to have sex with you outside <laughs> like under the stars um maybe it like starts in like like outside somewhere like in your car or, like in an alleyway or something and like they just take you against the wall yeah save yourself they could have felt like they were like saving you from them or something or they felt like they needed to save themselves or something from this connection we have venus and aquarius um so yeah their love they could uh have a venus and aquarius or you could um but what I'm getting is like they they could be someone who um, really needs to be mentally stimulated in order to um, like be sexually aroused. Um, and maybe you both are like that, like maybe you both like that, you like how unique the other is and it makes you like their mind is something that like really turns you on. We have warrior. Um, yeah, your person could really appreciate like you got had all that Aries energy, like, you know, Aries is the sign of war. Um, and you are a warrior of sorts. And like, I think they really appreciate that about you. Like, they really love your strength. Um, again, like, they really want you to dom them. We have I don't trust myself with you. They didn't. They didn't. And like, even when they see you again, they're gonna be like, Oh, my gosh, I can't keep my hands off this person. Like, I can't, I have to have them. Um, I am avoiding conflict with you. So uh, yeah, like we did get that five of swords. So maybe they're a little bit afraid of the conflict that is going to inevitably come like, um, from seeing each other again. And maybe that's something that they've been avoiding, like, they could be an avoidant attachment style as well coming through. Um, but I think that they're healing this. And this is something that's transforming as well. And I think that they will fight to get over that. We have Venus and Cancer. So your person could have Venus and Cancer. They did get Cancer on their side of the um, energy check. So maybe it's their Venus that's in Cancer specifically. So like they really need an emotional connection to like um, be aroused and also they like need the emotional connection to be really deep to have a relationship with someone um and maybe at first like they didn't think that that was possible between the two of you but i think they like prejudged things and i think honestly they, they sabotaged um you're always on my mind yeah like you are always on their mind like they know that you two are meant to like be together like they want to be with you so badly they love how innovative you are they love that. Like with the ideation card that you got, you could have an Aquarius placement and they could too. And you two could really bond over this. Like you could be very creative, very um, genius in a way. We have, if you'd never come into my life, I don't know where I'd be. Yeah, I think you really inspired a lot of change in this person. And you may not totally realize that, but they're really grateful for that. Could have gotten the same rush from any lover's touch, but why get used to something new? Because no one breaks my heart like you. Fool by Paramore. Um, so they could have been like trying to experience like trying to forget you like trying to get over you by like being under or over other people but it's like they can't like no matter what like they always come back to you like um like there's just no point you know like they'd rather you break their heart over and over again than like try to be with somebody that they know they're not meant to be with we have moon in Gemini. So someone could have a moon in Gemini. Um, yeah, they could like have trouble with like their emotions, like really expressing them. Like, um, like they really crave an emotional connection, but they could have problems with really accessing their own emotions. Um, whereas I feel like for you, I feel like you're very like emotionally expressive. 
Um, and maybe that actually was what scared them. Yeah, we have dimples. They, if you have dimples, they think that they're adorable, but they also like, they love it. Like they really miss your smile. Um, like they think you have a really beautiful smile, a really sexy smile as well, like a really sexy smirk. We have healing. Yeah, like I just heard, oh, baby, I can't take too much longer. Yeah, sexual healing coming through. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. They, um, the next time that you're together, I think there will be a lot of healing between the two of you, both in the conversation that pre- uh preempts this and then happens like during as well like during the sexual uh encounter i think it will be very healing nurturing yeah i think this person really wants to nurture you and i think they find you actually very nurturing as well um no one gets me the way that you do yeah no one no one gets their heart the way that you do like they don't let just anyone in and they they did let you in Please be gentle with my heart. It's been broken before. Yeah, exactly. Like it has been broken by others. And this could have been like part of the reason that they ghosted too. But I'm hurting from the way that this worked out. If you could rearrange your words, you could have saved it. If we were made of water by banks, maybe like hurtful words were expressed before uh, the end of this. So yeah, like, again, I'm seeing that five of swords card in my head. And so maybe um, they want to come in and like give clarity with it coming through in purple like they want to give clarity to this and they also like they really do want to work this out with you it's your love got me thinking about your love can't live without it uh your love by kingdom like they can't they cannot stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about like how in love with you they are like all this pink coming through like i, I mean usually i would say like the green is like heart chakra but like the pink is like romantic it's um you know it's love like that's you know, Valentine's Day. Maybe you guys met on Valentine's or well, yeah, maybe you've met on Valentine's Day because that just came through. Um, but yeah, they they could really want to feel your love again. We have Sun and Aries. I'm telling you, lots of Aries energy. They really love how like individualistic you are, how independent you are, how you know you go after the things that you want no matter what. You really believe in yourself. You you inspire this person. Please give me another chance. They want another chance to be with you. They desire you so much with the sacral chakra color coming through. I can tell you don't trust me. I want to change that. Um, yeah, maybe they they did something to break your trust. Like maybe the things that they said were really, really hurtful and it made you not trust them anymore. Um, they do want to change that with you. They see you as their divine feminine. Um, we were getting that feminine energy before with femme fatale. Now, again, this does not have to be uh, gender specific. You don't have to identify as feminine, uh, but you might be in more of a uh, receptive energy. All right, sorry about that pile one. Uh, my phone just decided to uh, turn off the video entirely. So uh, back to what I was saying, Labradorite. Um, so yes, your person sees your relationship as something that is incredibly powerful and something that is worth transforming. Um, clear quartz. Yeah, they like really, really want to heal this, to cleanse this with you. Um, and yeah, there could have been a major storm a major storm that happened. And I will say there's a storm warning as far as uh, the next time that you see one another. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's going to get hot and heavy very quickly. Block, unblock, that could have been happening between the two of you. Um, you know, it could have been really hard, honestly, as an ending. Um, you could have been really confused by the ending of this relationship. Um, let's see what else we got. I can see a future with you. Absolutely. They want a future with you. They desire that with the sacral chakra coming through. I don't want anyone else. They don't. Like, again, if they've been like exploring other options, like there's no one for them other than you because they're so in love with you. And they may not be ready to tell you this yet. They may never have told you that they loved you, but they do. I need space. Um, they may have taken space. Maybe that was the last thing that they said to you, but they don't really want this. In their heart, they want to be close to you. Long hair. Someone could have long hair in this connection. 
Mars and Aries, somebody could be a Mars and Aries. Um, you did have a lot of Aries energy coming through. Um, you know, this is in its native placement, right? Aries and Mars here. Um, I'm telling you, there's something about this, what's going to happen next, where it's going to be incredibly fiery and passionate. And it's like the spark never died at all between the two of you. We have... I always leave my phone on, fallen asleep, we don't talk, say it over by Ruel, featuring Cautious Clay. Um, yeah, I block on block right there. I mean, I think that they have really hoped for in their heart to talk with you. And like they leave their phone on and I'm seeing somebody with like their phone next to them or like on their chest and they just like keep checking it over and over and over again. Um, and they, they, probably like look back at your messages a lot. Like they miss you a lot. There's a whole lot of things that we said would never get in the way of us. Now it's all rearranged and we're waiting here for something to save us. Save us by Lynn and Stella. Um, yeah, like again, with that energy of like, you know, it, maybe you did talk about like, you know, oh no, nothing could ever come between us. And, you know, and then everything got all jumbled and it ended and you were waiting for something to save you. And now like they really want to come back. We have, cause I don't see no compromise. If we burning up slow, I'm just trying to fall with you would carry out my own demise. If we burning up slow, I'm just trying to fall for you. Burning up slow by cautious clay. Um, maybe they didn't compromise enough or maybe they felt like you weren't compromising enough. And this was like, again, I feel like this was just them sabotaging at the end of the day. Like, they're, they're in love with you and they would carry out their own demise just to be with you. Like they do want a slow burn relationship with you. They don't want it to just be a quick thing. Like they want 10 of pentacles with you. We have, oh, in case you didn't notice, oh, I would go blind just to see you. I'd go far to just have you near happiness by the 1975. You are happiness for this person. Um, they would do anything just to be with you again, just to have you again. Like they realize you are you are it. You are what they want. Horse. Somebody could be year of the horse. Also, someone could be hung by hung like a horse. <laughs> um, that always comes through for me when the horse card comes out. Um, but yeah, they they see your relationship as something that's durable, something that can go, uh, you know, the long haul. Also, they they want to go the uh, the long haul with you. That this next time that you two get to be intimately connected, the silence is killing me. It is. Like, they do not like this. They want to talk to you. They miss talking to you. So those are the messages that I'm getting for you. We're going to end things with some letters, numbers, and charms today. Thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a long reading. Um, and sorry for the interruptions, but let's see. Letters and numbers first. What letters and numbers would be significant? Okay. So we've got the letter D. So, mm -hmm, yep. Somebody's wanting to give you the D or they, they want you to give them the D. We have N. I just saw Indiana in my mind. So somebody could be from Indiana. We have the number six and the number nine. <laughs> yeah, they want a 69. Um, <laughs> they like that. V, which always looks like an Aries to me, like the Aries symbol because of the way I write my Vs. Um, the DMV could be significant. Maybe somebody just went to the DMV to get, even though I know it's N, but I'm seeing the DMV. So maybe somebody just got their license renewed. We have P. Player versus player just came to my mind. Um, maybe they liked playing like, I don't know, maybe they liked gaming with you or something. Um, oh, DP. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> Number three. I don't I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't think I can say that. Um, even though this is an N, I keep seeing M in my mind too. So I'm thinking of like voicemail. Maybe they like left you a voicemail recently or they wanna leave you a voicemail. Maybe like voice messaging was something that you did a lot. Um, the number nine coming through again. Nine could be very significant. Um, someone could be a life path nine. Uh, 99 could be significant. Um, maybe that's when someone was born, 69. <laughs> In the summer of 69. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> someone could be <laughs> born in, uh, oh, I was going to say 39. 
Well, I mean, maybe um, 93 could be significant, uh, 96. Um, 39 could be significant. Somebody could be 39, maybe. Um, 63, 36. Life path three, life path six. Someone could be born in September or on the 9th of any month. Someone could be born on the 3rd of any month or born in March or born in June, possibly. So we're going to shake this box that has charms in it. So it's going to get loud. You've been warned. Take your earbuds out or um, turn the volume down. So three, two, one. Okay. Huh. We got the one little letter in here that I have. <laughs> it's a little lost scrabble piece. The T and the number one. They think that you are number one to them. Um, I just saw TNT. They think you're dynamite. <laughs> uh, they liked watching TV with you. Yes, that was coming through so strongly. Um, uh, the cherry. Yeah. Something about popping your cherry. Mm-hmm um they think you're really sweet i'm getting the song candy by doja cat as well like she's just like candy she's so sweet yeah um hmm. so treat people with kindness um you know i think your person is a very sweet person genuinely and i think that they really appreciate that you are also that way like i'm getting like you're very sweet like they really like that about you they think you're very magical again with the star imagery though too like this is a magic wand like they want a magic wand like a do-over with you like they're like please please i just want to like do over with you um but with this little like star imagery, it's making me think of the star card again. So they really want to rebirth with you. We have Demona coming through. So talk about femme fatale. Yeah, like very strong, independent energy that's also feminine and receptive and uses their power to, um, you know, for a cause that they truly believe in. And your person could really appreciate like how independent you are. Um, we have, I solemnly swear that I am up to, up to no good. They like your mischievous side. Uh, you could be a Harry Potter fan or they could be, maybe you bonded over Harry Potter. Mischief managed. Yeah. They like, they like how mischievous you are. That's like very much so. They love when, when you get that like look in your eyes. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So we've got no face and Princess Mononoke. They could see you as their Princess Mononoke a little bit. Like could see that with like Femme Fatale again coming through. Um, not to be like so gender specific. It doesn't have to be gender specified here. Um, but yeah, Spirited Away and uh, Princess Mononoke could be your favorite like Studio Ghibli films. Um, you could have bonded over Studio Ghibli. Also, they think that you really balance each other, like the yin to their yang or vice versa. Um, we have the little fish. So somebody could be a Pisces here. Also, like, you know, I'm seeing like fish are meant to uh, swim together in schools, right? And so like, maybe you like went to school with this person. Like maybe you grew up with them. But also I'm seeing like, so for one thing, they want to like flow with you. They want to, they like dream of you very often with this Pisces energy. But like, they're like, you know, we're not meant to be separate. We're not meant to be apart. Like we're meant to swim together, you know? Um, we've got the anchor here. So you are somebody that like really gr helps them ground and like they, they love like the stability that you would give them and th the stability that they want to give you as well with that emperor energy that we saw in like the encounter. Like they want to show you that they can be stable for you. We have the lucky cat earring um so someone could have a lucky cat someone could have a pet cat um perhaps you're from china or your person is from china um but yeah like i think that this uh connection really is very blessed there is a lot of luck on your side that you may not be seeing right now we have the little cup with the heart on it um your person like really wants to come in with like an ace of cups and like give you a cup of love um we have the paw on the back <laughs> from the zoo maybe you guys have visited a zoo together you both like animals um they are definitely an acts of service person with the service excellence coming through like they want to they want to go wild with you and they want to serve you <laughs> um but with paw on the back like they do want to say like 
like again they're so grateful for you and they like really wouldn't be the same person without you i am the hype like they love how much you like hype yourself up you hype other people up but you're also really good at like internally validating yourself and you've really taught this person how to do that i am not fast so with this turtle energy coming through this is another sign of cancerian so like they could have cancer placements in their chart cancer moon rising sun possibly uh mars or venus or mercury um but this is a sign from the universe that like you can't rush this this is divine timing and so when this is meant to come back together you know be open but you don't have to wait for this person it will happen when it is supposed to happen um but like we saw in the cards it looked like it was possibly closer than than you might be thinking right now so um i just saw 12 22 on the clock so um with that my loves i am going to leave you there for today. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, please give me a thumbs up. If it resonated, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how it resonated for you, if it resonated for you. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, you can go to my playlist for The Siren's Call. Um, there will be um, lots of videos there for you, or at least a few. Um, there will be a playlist for this particular reading it will be called um what will happen next 18 plus and you'll have your pile one pile two pile three and pile four and then you'll have a playlist dedicated to your pile that you can check out on my spotify which is in the uh banner on my channel right next to the instagram you can click the link and follow and then you can follow me on uh, spotify or you know just like the the playlist if you like it so you might have some additional messages but um Without further ado, I will, I will release you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for being here. If you feel compelled to subscribe, please do. Um, those of you who already have, thank you so, so much. I love you all. And I'm sending everyone who watched this pile, um, subscribed or not, so much love. And I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you and have a great day or night. Bye. All right. Hello, pile two. Welcome back. If you chose, <laughs> if you chose the um, ice cream cone, then this is going to be a reading. So all about what will happen next between the two of you. So, all right. So let me grab your cards. I'm going to do an energy check first. Um, so let me straighten out this camera because what's going on there? Okay. Um, yes. So as always, we're going to start with an energy check um, because I think it's important. So you're going to be on this side. Your person will be on this side. Um, if you feel like you're actually the person that's on this side, then just flip flop the energies. It is going to be like how your person sees you and how you see your person. Um, so I'm doing a slightly different energy check, but you should still be able to kind of see yourself in some of these energies, right? If you don't, there are three other piles today, so that's exciting. So you can always check them out. Um, but yeah, and if you feel like you're on both sides, then, you know, that's just mirroring um, and that's totally okay. So we're gonna start putting all the cards out on your side first, and then we'll put all the cards on your person's side. So we've got two archetype cards. So we had student come through, with the light attributes, humility, and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. Um, and what was interesting is it came out with another card and it was guide, represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. So like you're a student and a teacher pile um, too, which is really cool. I like that. Um, I think all teachers should be great students, right? So we've also got moth coming out for you. Person is drawn to you like a moth to a flame. We have stop coming through. So maybe this connection is in a like no contact or is not in union at the moment. We have house nine coming through with spiritual growth for you. <laughs> we had the moon come out for you. So someone could have cancer placements or possibly Pisces as well. And then we have air. So you could have some air placements, especially between the moth and this card with air. 25 could be significant. 14 could be significant. Um, seeing like the temperance card with the number 14 coming through. Um, but yeah, someone could be uh, 25. Somebody could be a life path nine as well. Um, yeah, maybe you're really working on balancing yourself right now. Um, okay, so for your person, on their side, we've got 
mother, light attributes, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy, and giving birth to life. They actually got two as well. The fool and the mother came out on top of each other as well. So light attributes fearlessly are fearlessly revealing emotion, helping people laugh at the abs at absurdity and hypocrisy. Oh man, <laughs> struggle bus today, really struggling. Um, okie dokie. Uh, and then we have the bear coming out for your person as well. We had two cards come out. So we had passion and we had determination. So your person could be working on, um, <coughs> excuse me, I tried to cough away from the um, mic. So hopefully that wasn't too loud. Uh, they could be working on their solar plexus chakra. So like really learning how to authentically express themselves, um, really like taking control of their mind and their thought processes. We have house three. So yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Early learning childhood relations, uh, the rational mind and communication. So could be a very good communicator um, or working on being a better communicator. We've got 24 water. So someone could be, you could be a year apart, possibly. Um, they could be a year younger than you or vice versa. They could be 24, you could be 25. Um, they could have water and earth placements. Uh, the bear is an earth sign, um, but it doesn't have to be. But with all this green energy, I am getting earth as well. Uh, they could be really healing their heart chakra. Um, yeah, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so on your side, your person sees you as someone who is incredibly balanced. Okay. Um, you know, so it's interesting that we got that. I, I actually didn't get that before, but the temperance uh, reference here. Yeah, I think that they do see you as kind of like a temperance, a temperate being, someone who is very balanced and who brings a lot of balance to their life as well, to this person's life. Um, you could be a spiritual guide of some kind um, with guide coming through. Um, your person really likes this about you. They feel like like maybe they look to you to be guided in a way, like because your person could be going through a spiritual awakening right now with the bear, but we'll get to them in a second. But yeah, you could be um, a channel or uh, like a channeler. You could read tarot or be a tarot reader. Maybe you're psychic. Um, you know, I'm getting like mediumship possibly is something that you um, naturally have. Like you just have uh, intuitive gifts, right? So um, I definitely think learning really matters to you as well. I think you're like very much, uh, an eternal student, you know, knowledge is power, so to speak. And <clears throat> no matter how much you learn, no matter how many skill sets you acquire in your life, you remain very humble. Um, you know, you're, you're constantly looking for uh, new ways to express yourself, to express your spirituality. Maybe you do a lot of rituals. Um, the owl spirit could be significant for someone. Maybe Lakshmi specifically is uh, very important for you, or maybe you should look into Lakshmi. Um, you know, that goddess in specific has a familiar that is an owl. So um, if owl symbolism is something that really has been following you or resonating with you, lately, then, you know, you might want to look into that, but your person sees you as someone who is beautiful and wise, um, like ethereal almost. Um, also the tree of life is coming through. So like maybe Odin is important for someone because that just came through. Um, doesn't have to be, but I think your person really likes how grounded your energy is as well. Like, I think you're both spiritual and um, pragmatic, if that makes sense. Like you're very good at living in both the 3D and the 5D. This has come through in a couple of my readings. So this is interesting. Um, now with you coming through as the moth as well, I mean, we kind of see this again, right? There's a mysticism here, a spirituality, but also a very cerebral intellect. Um, you could have a lot of water and air placements with the moon coming out and air here. Um, your person sees you as a dream come true. They definitely dream of you a lot between the moth spirit and the moon. Um, like, 
you are someone that would truly be like a wish fulfillment. Like I'm seeing the nine of cups in my head here. Um, they feel like maybe in hoping to even be with you, like maybe you two have never been together or maybe you did and it didn't work out, but I kind of wonder if maybe you just have never been together, but they feel like it would almost be like wishful thinking to just to even like think that the two of you could be together. Like they like stop themselves from like daydreaming too much about you because they're like, that could never happen. Like they would never be interested in me. Um, they really like the way that you talk, like with this air energy, there's something in the way that like, like your voice, like even this person, like I was drawn to their choker like I'm drawn to their neck and there's something about like, for one thing, like your, your throat, um, like they, they really think you have a pretty neck and they want to like kiss you. Um, I'm getting like a very shy energy from your person. Maybe they're very shy. Um, they can have like a lot of cancer and Pisces in their chart. Um, but yeah, like you could have a very activated throat chakra. So you're like very much about possibly speaking your truth and like understanding that like, in order to spiritually evolve, like you have to embrace like who you are, like your dark and your light. Um, but yeah, there's something definitely about your voice that they really like. Maybe you have um, a Mercury in Cancer with like air and the moon coming out specifically. Like maybe you're very soft spoken, but like the way that the things that you say are so powerful, pile two. Like it's incredibly powerful. Um, your person is super, super drawn to you. Like, they believe that, like, the gorgeousness of your outer shell, like, your human shell, is matched equally to the beauty and light that they see inside of you. Like, I'm getting, like, also, like, some sort of whimsy. Like, maybe you dress in, like, kind of a whimsical way, if that makes sense. Like, um, I don't know. You could dress in like really flowy clothing or like, I don't know, it almost feels like you're from like a different time. Like, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Maybe you're into like, um, like cosplaying or maybe you're into, uh, like fantasy or something like you are their fantasy, uh, for sure. Yeah. But with your person, um, I'm getting, so you might see your person as someone who's, who gives off like a queen of cups vibes, even if they're uh, like, no matter how they identify as far as their gender goes, like they don't have to uh, identify as female. Um, they can be uh, non-binary or binary, um, but they don't have to identify as female, but they could have, regardless of this, this receptive um, emotional energy, right? So um, someone who really nurtures others. Uh, they could be a parent, they could have kids. Um, and they're a very good parent if they do have kids, like they've made it a point to like, make sure that they don't carry out the same, uh, cycles and trauma that may have been bestowed upon them in childhood. Um, because I do think your person's been through a lot. Like they definitely have had to overcome with sheer determination a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I do think they have a well, a wellspring of patience, um, for others and they've really cultivated this in their lifetime. Um, they're very much like, you know, they, they go with the flow, but they're also not afraid to go after what they want. Um, they could be very beautiful, like have very beautiful eyes. I'm getting like very soft eyes, very um, maybe like soft features in general. <laughs> like there could be something kind of like almost like sweet about the way that they look very cute in a way. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I apologize if that was right in the mic. That snuck up on me. <clears throat> but they could be um, someone who uses humor like they could be a comedian um, or maybe a poet as well. I was getting like, maybe they're, they're kind of a poet. Um, and maybe that's something you really like bond over. Like you both like are very lyrical and how you express yourself, if that makes sense. Um, I'm getting such a sweet energy. Um, yeah. But like they could use humor to transmute their own pain 
Um, and to help transmute the pain of like the collective as well. Like, you know, they, they found a way to like make like their past, like trauma, like something that no longer just like hurts them all of the time. They understand like that some of the things that we go through in life is like absolutely absurd and it is hypocritical. And the only thing that we can do, like the best medicine is to laugh, you know, and other people may think that this is foolish, but it actually has like really helped, you know, I'm seeing like the sun here and it's like, it's really helped them like light up their world. And I think it's really helped them light up other people's world. Like you could feel like they are such a light. Um, I'm getting like a bit of like Empress vibes from them too. Like, uh, yeah, they could be like a Taurus specifically, or maybe some Libra too. Like maybe they have like, uh, earth and air in their chart. Um, maybe a little bit of water as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I do think that they look for the beauty in everyone and they like really see it as well. Um, and it's, it's beautiful because they've been through so much, but they, they look for that beauty everywhere. Um, very much like a, like a helper kind of energy. Like they're always like trying to help people. Um, I do think with them getting the bear, like I said, they are beginning a new path in some way. Like could have, could be going through a spiritual awakening, coming out of a dark night of the soul, um, really waking up in some way. Um, they could have also like recently started working out. Like they could be like trying to like bulk up and like you know, work on their physical body. Um, they could have been starting like new spiritual practices and maybe that's how you two bonded. Like maybe they're looking to you for guidance from, uh, with that. Like, um, I am noticing also by the way that the bear is turned away. They're turned toward their determination, their passion. I think they do feel a lot of passion for you, but they might be determined like not to, like if you're mentoring this person in some way, like they're determined not to like let, themselves like get carried away in this fantasy of you um maybe you two have had a past together as well um but yeah look like even like the fool is like peeking over like they might feel foolish for like wanting to be with you in some way it's it keeps coming through um but yeah i do think this person has a lot of inner strength um, they are a very passionate person. They, they really yearn to grow and to learn. And I think you really share that in common, right? Like very courageous person, very open-minded, um, really learning how to trust their instincts. Um, I do think they're also someone that is very much like with the mother card and the bear. I think they're very protective of their family, um, whether they have kids or not, like they're very family matters to them, especially since they got the house three as well. Like maybe they have siblings or something that could be very protective of their siblings. Um, and you know, I'm getting a <laughs> blue, the bear from, uh, uh, the jungle book. So, uh, somebody could like the jungle book, but I'm getting bear necessities. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're like trying to focus on like the simplicities and the, the simple bear necessities of life. Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, they could really be uh, focusing on the, the bare necessities within life. Really trying to focus on the simple joy. Um, but let's see. So hmm. there was passion there. There was passion there, though. And they're trying really hard to um, deny it. But I think they're having a hard time with that. Um, so... We're gonna get the tarot next. So let me just make sure that some of these cards have some pretty provocative imagery. So I have to like cover up some of it. Um, okay. So. All right, pile two. So the three of cups is coming out first. All right, so let's get into your tarot now. So, all right, first things first, we have the two of wands coming out. Okay. So wanting to create with you in some way, the two of cups, lovely. Wanting to, oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. The, this is the page of wands and the page of cups, but still wanting to offer you, um, <laughs> Wanting to create with you, wanting to offer you a cup of love. We will get into the 18 plus messages. I'm just reading the surface level of this, but um, 
they want to they want to get you like i just oh man uh salt shaker um shake it like a salt shaker shake it like a, yeah yeah um but uh she's naked soaking wet yeah <laughs> those lyrics specifically coming through like um and you don't have to be a she uh not to be gender specific here i just wanted to say those lyrics but yeah they want to get you naked and soaking wet um <laughs> so yeah we do have the two of cups though Ooh, and there's some naughty stuff going on in the background that I just realized, but it's far enough away that YouTube shouldn't get me for that one. Um, so, oh, soulmate energy. They want, like, the next time, like, what's happening next is, like, some earth-shattering sex. Um, some sex that is going to blow your freaking mind <laughs> i just got yeah death literally death coming out right now and i had to unfortunately it's a really cool card but it's i mean they're just totally naked so um yeah the death of everything that you knew before mm -hmm. uh the little oh the little death is another word for like or another term for orgasming so uh, yeah um the ace of cups the ooh, uh the two of wands <laughs> maybe they're into like spanking or you're into spanking or they want them to spank you um the three of cups so <laughs> There's definitely a friendship here that's building, but they could want to, if you're open to having multiple people involved in this, I think they would be open to that as well, which is kind of surprising with the energy that was coming out in the energy check, but I am about it. I am very about it. Okay, 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 okay. So just want to make sure you can see some of it at least um and then we have the devil wow wow okay cool 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 <laughs> um yeah so let's talk about so what will happen the next time you see them 18 plus edition so okay pile two They are going to be taking off their mask. Like, you are going to see a new side of them. They are someone who comes off sweet as well, just like you. But they have a very naughty side to them, pile two. They are beneath the surface i just heard the song underneath it all and it's so funny because like that song came on uh today while i was on a walk and i was kind of getting into my meditative state for each pile and that was when i was thinking about pile two so it's funny that that all i forgot about that but it did come up so yeah underneath it all uh by no doubt coming through um <laughs> underneath this very beautiful like sweet nurturing energy there is someone who is very promiscuous very like um carnal and sexual and like you know the bear is like you know it's not just winnie the pooh over here you know it's just it's not just about being sweet it's about you know that primal instinct that power um, you know, the, uh, devil card is often about like our more animalistic side, right? It's about, um, you know, unleashing the beast, so to speak. Um, and sometimes getting into our darkest desires. So, you know, there could be some like BDSM desires on this side, um, that could be playing out as long as you're comfortable with that and you feel safe with that. Um, I do think your person will do a fine balance 
um, you know, it's going to be very steamy um, because there is fire here, but there is also water with the Page of Cups right next to it. So I think that there's going to be equal amounts of like, you know, raw passion, like they, they might like throw you on the bed and like attack you. Um, but they might also, what I'm seeing is like the like, um, effortlessly shift into the energy of like, I don't know, like sweet, like very sensual and soft and like, you know, slow. Like I can see them like actually seeing these two pages right next to each other. Like, you know, um, they'll be, first of all, you'll be able to direct them. They're open to be uh, directed for you, like for your pleasure. Um, but I'm seeing somebody like move really, really fast. Um, and then switch and move really, really slow. So they're gonna do a really good job. They're really gonna know how to like pace themselves. Um, you know, just because they're coming in as like a page of wands, page of cups, doesn't mean that they're, you know, this is their first time at the rodeo. Um, oh, maybe, Ro uh, rodeo uh, coming through now that song. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, this person would be a freak. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but anyway, no, like I, even though they are coming through this like youthful energy, they have been around, you know, they like, and they're also really good at like paying attention, taking cues. Um, yeah, they, they like to study you. Remember, like there's something about learning with them, just like with you, they love to learn about you. And I think that they will treat this encounter that way. Um, with this two of cups, again, I'm getting this energy of like this being next to the death card, like they are going to, <laughs> first of all, they, there's something about your chest. They want to see you like throw your head back and like, they want to like kiss down your chest and like lots of biting and sucking and things like that are going to take place. Um, lots of like oral play um with this cup energy coming through but also i'm getting like with the two of cups that there's there's a lot of there's like an underlying friendship foundation here and also like partnership and romance are on their mind like as this is happening like they want for this encounter to be the death of what was in your relationship like they want this to be a new beginning they want this to be like okay now we're going to be together in this real solid partnership here you know that's built on friendship um you know they they want to take that cup those two cups right and form a third cup and that third cup now you could maybe like they want to get a third person involved but i don't know if that'll happen if this is your first encounter i don't know maybe that's how it happens but like i'm actually getting they want because two and three together is you know five and i'm getting like a, the number of change also the number of the hierophant here so like you know taking that two of cups and then forming one cup you know that's that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, there could be like laughter between you during this encounter, like the next time that you see them, um, like it could start where like they have you like sitting like on like out. They could have you like literally like on the balcony, like in this, like they could it could literally start on the balcony and you start like kissing and um, one thing leads to another. And then, you know, um, they take you to the bed and I could totally see like the two of you, it's going to be so sweet. Like there are going to be like such sweet moments within this. Um, like, I, and this is like, this is one of my favorite things about intimacy is that it is something that it, it's like evolutionary, right? Like in the moment, like it evolves. And usually it's not just one note. It's like a symphony, right? It's like a symphony. And 
you know, symphonies are not meant to be one sustained note the entire time. It's meant to, you know, go through different melodies, have different feelings, right? And that's what I feel like it's going to be like with you. I feel like you two are, you have to be like poets or writers or avid readers because I feel like I am speaking in a much more lyrical sense than I even am on a typical basis. So um, yeah, really beautiful energy though. But yeah, I could just totally see you two like giggling and stuff. Like something silly could happen because you know what? When you're having sex, like weird things happen. Like weird shit happens, right? You like clunk each other in the head and stuff like that. That's why like, if you try to take this like, and this is no shade at anybody, but like when you try to take these things so seriously, it's like, I don't feel like that's very real. Like sex is irreverent sometimes. It's not meant to always be like super serious. You know, it's not, again, it's not meant to be one note. Um, and I think with the two of you, like you truly understand that. And like, you have such a good friendship based here. And like, oh, it's gonna make it so much more comfortable for the two of you. Like, uh, it's it's just, it's gonna be so beautiful. So beautiful. but. Yeah, I do see like, you know, with death here, I mean, there is so much passion. I mean, this is Scorpio energy, right? Scorpio and Capricorn here. You could have Scorpio or Capricorn in your chart or they could. Um, we do have a fair bit of water here. So definitely some water signs um, and then a little bit of fire. Um, but yeah, they, I feel like this is going to be like the end of, like this is gonna be okay I, I this is what i feel intuitively this is going to end your desire for other people like in a relationship like you're going to realize like oh my gosh this is my person in the next encounter like it is i'm not kidding it is going to be earth shattering in a in the way that like you can be multifaceted in this experience like you know you can be yourself fully and completely in a way that you maybe have never been able to do before like i feel like you'll be able to explore your kinks like there won't be any like <laughs> um kink shaming like <laughs> uh one of my friends um said that one time and that just really stuck with me but yeah no kink shaming <laughs> there won't be no kink shaming here um, you know, if you want to explore like other people with them, like if you want to be polyamorous, like together and like, then yeah, like they'll be open to it. Um, they're not going to vilify you for this, you know, like you might have in the past, this might end a cycle of being vilified for like your sexuality, for your sexual power. People may have made you feel like you weren't allowed to have that and you had to like kill that part of yourself like essentially like you had to like hide it or stuff it down or eradicate it you know and like that's not that's not what this person is going to be about like they are going to fully embrace you and like speaking of fully embracing like they are going to be all about because i'm noticing like all of these people are like wrapping their arms around the person or like touching them like this person is going to like ravage you they are going to like have their arms around you a lot like during it and like really hold you um there's definitely going to be something about like spanking um like they are going to really um bring like a sense of creativity to this experience like i don't know you're it's going to be a very different experience than what you've had previously like i said i'm just getting that like it's something that's going to um first of all there are going to be like major fireworks like i mean the way that you're going to uh finish the two of you finishing is going to be like otherworldly um I just heard celebrate good times. Come on, let's <laughs> celebrate. Yeah. Uh yeah, they they yeah, they want to celebrate your body like um they love your skin and like they are going to like be constantly like touching it and 
yeah like very into like soft touches like I can totally see them like you know being rough and like gripping you but then like you know they'll like take their fingers and they like run it softly down your back and stuff like like across your bum <laughs> and like yeah I can I can see that there's there could be like a chance that like it starts and like the two of you are still like fully clothed like because that's how like heated it gets so quickly like the energy just like shifts and like you are still like because some of these people are still like partially dressed and so I'm like yeah there definitely could be like a, like a quickness to this like it's like explosive and quick and then like they slow it down though with this ace of cups here yeah they are at the end of this encounter they are going to want to offer you their cup of love like fully <laughs> they are going to give you a cup of love um in a way you know because yeah bodily fluids um like you're both gonna finish and they're gonna make a mess they're gonna make a mess with this ace of cups but um but seriously no i think that they are going to really want to give you that cup of love um that is going to be like how this ends um they might honestly and and this is just something if they don't say it they're thinking it like they are going to be thinking about the fact that they are in love with you at the end of this encounter so that is what i'm getting from the tarot i hope you enjoyed that um we're gonna get some oracle messages and then we'll finish it out with some numbers letters and charms so the first thing we're gonna look at are these oracle messages from the Monera oracle deck so we've got the number 19 the promise of unending love with moon and gemini um so interesting 19 is also linked to the sun card in my head so this person sees you as their sun moon and stars is what i just heard like they see you as their entire universe like they want forever with you i'm getting like two of cups energy from this this is romeo and juliet's scene um on the balcony of like you know the it's the super infamous scene everybody sh probably knows it like you know what light doth break at the window and blah blah, blah. <laughs> i'm channeling i can't remember i'm so sorry <laughs> uh, I, I feel silly now okay um <laughs> i feel really badly because i i, I I, uh, I happen to, to enjoy the bard, and I just totally butchered that. Um, I, my brain is just not connected to that right now. Um, because I'm channeling, because I'm trying to give you messages. So let me get back to that. There's something about a balcony here. There's something about a balcony. Um, it really could start on a balcony. I don't know if one, one or both of you live in an apartment building or you live in a place where there is a balcony accessible to the two of you where your bedroom is linked to that especially like this is where it could start in the middle of the night um ooh, that song in the middle of the night by ellie duhay just came through um in the middle of the night just call my name which arose by any other name yeah would be so sweet yeah 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 like definitely romeo and juliet vibes coming through um you know, I think they've been scared for a long time that you were just going to be like star-crossed lovers, but I, I think that they're realizing, like, you know, like they feel like I'm um, getting, you're so high above me now too. Like they feel like you're so high above them. Maybe that's why the balcony is significant as well. Um, like they feel like they're, it's almost like a princess and the pauper type of energy here, which, you know, um, uh, that's just their viewpoint of it, right? They they see you as somebody who's so unattainable to them. Like I said, they they thought when they looked at you that it would be wishful thinking to even believe that they could have a chance with you. And once they can like, again, there's something about embracing. This person is going to love to hug you. Like they're going to hold you through this experience. Um, but I think it is based off of this like friendship, right? It is based off the conversations that you had and that you've had together, like, that has brought you closer. Um, we've also got the number 18, which is funny, because that is linked to the moon card. So um, this is Venus in Libra, the lightness of being. So yeah, something with like, 
taking like your clothes off very slowly like they're going to like like it's going to be like fast and hot and heavy and then it's gonna like like i said like kind of get slower and they're gonna like want to strip you bare and everything and really see what's underneath um you could dress in a way that's like uh like very conservative like you could like not show a lot of skin it doesn't have to be that way just something that i was noticing like you could really like be covered up a lot of the time um and so for them like being able to see your skin for the first time is going to be like so tantalizing um there's something about like the way that you smell like i'm getting like you're just like very fragrant you're like you remind them of spring like of like blossoms cherry blossoms could be significant to someone japan could be significant um your love is so transformational this experience is going to be transformational um it's going to light up the darkness like it's going to light up the unknown the the things that you've been hiding in your subconscious the desires that you've been hiding away for this person you know and vice versa um but you're going to feel so much lighter after this experience too. We have the freedom to be yourself with the number 27. Someone could be 27 here. Um, life path nine could be significant. I'm getting with two and seven together um, or the number nine hermit energy. Maybe you both are coming out of like hermit modes in your life where you were really like hiding yourself away. And now, like, again, I was getting that, like you may have felt shamed. Like you may have felt shamed by other people for your actual desires, for the things that you wanted in multiple facets, but like by partners, you could have felt that like in like your desires sexually, like you could have felt really shut down by partners. And this is Sun and Scorpio, by the way, so you could be a Sun and Scorpio. Um, but yeah, you are going to embrace fully being yourself and exploring your desires. Your person is going to allow and totally accept this within yourself. Um, again, like there's going to be something about like pushing you up against a wall and like hiking like your skirt up if you're wearing a skirt or like, you know, tearing your pants down or whatever, like they're going to want to do that with you. Um, and like really have you look them in the eye and like tell you that you're beautiful and that like like you're worthy you're enough like i can see this like becoming like a very emotional very like deep um experience emotionally yeah so that's what i'm getting from your oracle messages so fun um and then we do have oracle messages from my deck which we have a lot a lot came out for you so we've got confused coming out so yeah somebody could definitely the, your, the person definitely was confused maybe you were feeling confused about this connection too like are we more than friends or are we not like yeah mercury and scorpio so more scorpio energy we were getting that sun in scorpio maybe um someone has a mercury in scorpio as well um yeah, you could crave like the both of you, I think definitely crave that like deep emotional connection. Um, you know, oftentimes when we are spiritual, we really do crave that, right? So um, both of you being spiritual, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I feel like this encounter will um, show you like just how amazing it can be to connect on that level sexually too. Do you remember what you said? They remember everything that you said. There's so much truth in the words that you speak to them. You really are a guide for this person. September, they also want to make you forget like everything. That, like they don't want you to be able to form sentences is what I just heard. September, um, do you remember the 21st night of September? <laughs> Somebody could have been just listening to that song. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, I feel really giddy. I don't know why. You make this person feel really giddy. You make them feel like a kid again in a lot of ways. And that's such a beautiful gift. Um, but September could be significant. Someone could be born in September um, or you could have met in September or this could be taking place in September. I know that's a while away, but it could be. Shallow. So I think both of you do not want to have a shallow connection. Um, both of you are looking for depth. And that is the truth, right? I think you're stunning. They do. They think everything about you is stunning. They think your heart is stunning. Like with this being in green, they think you have like the most beautiful soul. 
We have You the Type I Want to Marry and Keep You Merry. I'll Put the Ring on When You're Ready. Streets by Doja Cat. <laughs> yeah, they, after this experience, like they already like think about you as like their perfect match. Um, they want to make you happy, but like they are going to be like all about you. They're going to be ready to get married. <laughs> like put a ring on it for real. <laughs> Beyonce coming through a rose quartz. Um, they're gonna see you as like, like their king or queen or their ruler. You know, um, to be more inclusive. But rose quartz, yeah, it, true love, unconditional love for you. We have Lilith coming through. So, yeah, there's that like devilish card coming through. Like you know, really giving into your carnal desires and feeling safe to do that south node so you know you both could be learning to come out of your comfort zone like so that you can be together um maybe you and your person have the same south node we have because you promised me you'd do it you said baby let me prove it look at me in the face this is the face of someone who loves me uh who loves you babe contaminated by banks um so maybe they're in another connection or you are and they're waiting for either you to leave your person or they are leaving their person and like getting rid of that situation like really healing from that situation um so that they can be someone that loves you and so that they don't contaminate this before it starts we have tell me what you would do for love now that you've found it alone together by delwater gap I love that so much. Um, they want to be alone with you. Like, they want that so badly. Um, after this night together, like after this, this encounter, they will do anything, anything to be with you, to keep you. We have green eyes. They really love your eyes, whether or not they're green. They could have like little flecks of green in them. Blonde, someone could be blonde here. Doesn't have to be just for someone. Um, femme fatale. So you may have been drawn to another pile, by the way, just FYI. Um, but they could definitely see you as a femme fatale, not to be gender specific. Um, just they could see you embodying that archetype. So very uh, like dangerous and um, in their sexuality. Like, you know, there's... A sexual prowess to you if you will um and that is underneath the surface much like with them right like they they give off this vibe of being very sweet and nurturing and then it's like underneath the surface they're like fatally attractive and stuff i am addicted to you they are they are going to be even more addicted to you than they already are which i think honestly pile two they're already pretty addicted so tell me where to put my love i don't know where to put my love my love by florence and the machine um they might like want you to direct them a little bit like they're gonna like want you to tell them where you want it and like how you want it they're gonna like want you to beg for it is what i just got now when i caught myself i had to stop myself from saying something that i should have never thought of you you're pushing and pulling me down, but I don't know what I want. I caught myself by Paramore. Um, I think they may be scared to admit how much they desire you, Pile 2. Um, like, maybe they feel guilty because if they're in another relationship, we did have that Three of Cups. So maybe they are in another relationship and they're like, I should not want this person the way that I do. But they can't help it. They're just inexplicably drawn to you, Pile 2. Um, they could be with someone who's a distorted feminine energy. Um, they could be in like a karmic relationship. They could be in a distorted feminine energy as well. Um, generator. So someone's human design uh, type could be generator. They want to like, they want to bring this love to life. Um, not bring me to life by Evan Essence coming through. Whoa, we are really getting throwbacks now. Okay. Um, hello, emo Taylor. Um, welcome to the chat. Uh, but no, but for real, sorry, I didn't mean to insert my self into your reading um <laughs> but uh yeah they want to bring this to fruition truly they do you ruined everything good always said you were misunderstood made all my moments your own happier than ever by billy eilish um 
you could be healing from someone right now. Like maybe, maybe you were like taking a, a step back and like being celibate in a way and like trying to find out like, like how to be happy on your own and like, taking your energy away from someone who may have done this to you, like ruined everything good, said that they were just misunderstood and made all their moment, made all your moments theirs. Like, and now you're happier than ever without, without them. And your person that's wanting this, I get the sense that they don't want to like ruin this for you because maybe they've been there. Like I'm getting this sense that you two may be friends and they have maybe like seen this happening for you and they don't want to like ruin this moment for you so they might be like staying back while you kind of figure your truth out i don't need you but i still want you i don't mean to but i love you the worst by jane Iko. yeah um i mean maybe you had a past with this person if that resonates definitely take it um but what i was getting is like it could have been really hard for you to break away from the toxic energy that you may have been through in the past like you may be really healing from that and you may actually be guiding other people to heal through that maybe that's like something you and this person connect on maybe they've like vented to you about the issues in their relationship maybe you're kind of like counseling them through it almost Ooh, that's interesting uh i've been there pile two that is that's not easy ruby yeah they could see you as they're like you know, for critters ruby of the sea like they whether or not you see yourself as that attractive they see you as like the most attractive human in the land like they just see you as this passionate beautiful like very sexy person they want to kiss you there's something about like your lips here like they they want to like kiss you until your lips are like red and like you know like bruised tiger's eye they only have eyes for you just came through um I'm also getting like, they love how like you look at them. They love that you can like see through things with tiger's eye. We have Gemini rising. Someone could be a Gemini rising here. Um, they really love your conversations together. Like it just is so easy to be around you pile too. They love that. Insecure, you make their heart feel at home. Insecure, they could be a very insecure person. They could be healing a lot of insecurities. You could be as well. Maybe like body insecurities and the two of you in this encounter, you're going to feel more beautiful than you've ever felt before, which is beautiful. Somebody could be from Asia. Somebody's name could be Asia as well. Um, I just got Asian elephants could be significant for someone. Hmm. I want nothing more than to cuddle you. Oh, yeah, like they're like the aftercare of this is going to be beautiful. Like they're going to like snuggle you and like hold you afterward. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of aftercare. You already know. Yeah, like their higher self coming through and telling you, you already know that I'm the one for you. You already know that this is going to happen. Like you already know the truth of this. Africa could be significant um, as well. So um someone could be from africa or have african descent um someone could be traveling to africa or just came back from africa we have straight no chaser um so they could be in like a runner chaser dynamic or you could have been um and you could be healing from that like that's something that you could be really healing right now and like you might be working on like really like giving like clear communication with people and like making sure to have like strong boundaries and this person could be like learning from you in that way and like really doing the same thing venus and sagittarius yeah i see like the two of you like really growing together like your love is going to expand the two of you like it's going to make the two of you grow um in multiple ways <laughs> uh psychic you could have a psychic connection with them like you could have like a telepathic connection um but also with psychic they definitely think that you're psychic um yeah they they definitely like really admire your psychic abilities gaslight yeah so like you both could be healing from gaslighting like in your past relationships, like again, they could be leaving a relationship where they, they were treated like this behind. 
um, I was getting that like a new beginning was happening for them with the bear. So yeah, they could be like ending a relationship right now that this happened in. Ambitious. Um, they really admire your ambition. Maybe you have like a spiritual business piled to, um, or you're just a very ambitious person. Like you go after the things that you really want, you know, like you're always learning, you're always growing and expanding. You know, you did get that uh, ninth house energy of uh, spiritual growth and expansion. So Venus and Leo, I do think that this is going to be a love that you will protect that you'll feel very passionate and fiery about as well. Like you really light up each other's heart spaces. We have honey, when you kill the lights and kiss my eyes, I feel like a person for a moment of my life to be alone by Hozier um, or by Hozier, sorry. But uh, so they definitely really want to be alone with you. Um, I just got alone together by um, Paramore now as well but uh yeah i feel like with you like i said it's going to be the death of so much like so much pain for the both of you like this is going to be like soulmate sex i, I like this is going to be sex that like touches you on not just a physical level but like an emotional and mental and spiritual level like you are going to experience something that i don't think you've ever experienced before both of you. What's your pleasure? What's my name? Continuum by uh, Tanarel. They're basically saying like, their pleasure is your name. Like, you are going to become synonymous with pleasure for this person. Um, Sunstone. So I'm getting like a Leo energy here. Um, they could be a Leo. Maybe they're a Leo, you're a Cancer or something. So I'm getting like the sun to my moon. Um, but yeah, you really light up their world. Um, with selenite, I think, yeah, you've really helped this person heal or you're really helping this person heal. Siblings, um, siblings could be important in this connection. Like they could be very close to their siblings. I was getting like they had their third house uh, come out. So like they could be very, very close to their siblings. Um, maybe they had to like raise their siblings in some way. North node, so north and south node coming out. Yeah, you both could be like stepping into your truest purpose and like being together this way like coming into union this way because i think this this sexual experience between the two of you like takes you to this new level like it awakens you both and it awakens you to your true purpose with this north node um we have red flags so yeah i think you taught this person how to really look for the red flags in their current relationship that they're ending like they saw those and i I think they're they're walking away from it. And I think you did too. And I think you're learning how to catch those a lot faster. Venus and Pisces. Um, yeah, this love is going to be very spiritual. I'm telling you, like 12th house coming through here. Um, that's such a beautiful place. Like it's going to feel so dreamy. Like again, like when you make love to each other, it's just going to feel like your energy flows into theirs. It's very two of cups. Um, yeah, yeah. We've got runner. So yeah. Um, that runner chaser dynamic, you could both be runners, like actually, like you could go for runs and stuff like that together. Um, running could be important, but yeah, maybe, um, you both were connected to a runner, you know, like your heart space was filled by a runner and you're learning how to let those people go. Venus in Libra. Um, so lots of love in this connection pile too. Um, like this is truly going to be a make love experience. Um, and it's going to lead them to want to absolutely be in a relationship with you with Lib a Libra coming through. Um, there's going to be like good communication through this entire experience as well. Um, we have Moon and Leo coming through as well now. Um, so they... they're going to be very expressive about their feelings with you. Like they're not going to hide anything. Like they're going to be expressive about how they feel about you, about their desire for you. They're going to be very protective of you pile to gym rat. So yeah, somebody could definitely be working out more. I was getting that with the bear. They could be hitting the gym. So like, yeah, when you get together, like you're going to feel some, some muscles, you're going to see some things that you're going to be like, Ooh, la la. <laughs> um, you're my one and only. Um, yeah, you, you are going to become their one and only more of that sun energy with the yellow card coming through here. Fake. Yeah, you aren't going to settle for fake love anymore. Fake love by BTS coming through now. 
We've got I'm Done With Running So I Give In To You Nirvana by Sam Smith. Yeah, you're done with running from love yourselves, with running from your heart spaces and you're giving into each other and finding that heaven on earth. Babe, there's something tragic about you, something so magic about you from Eden by Hosier. Yeah, again, like that heavenly energy here. There's this duality to you and to this experience. Like there's light and dark. It's oh, it's just going to be so magical for the two of you. I'm so happy for you, pile two. We've got hazel eyes. So somebody could have hazel eyes. Uh, oh man, Kelly Clarkson behind these hazel eyes coming through. I haven't heard that song in a long time. Uh, red hair. Somebody could definitely have red hair here. Um, they really like your hair. They love your eyes. We have March. So somebody could be a March Pisces or an Aries. Um, we have, or maybe March is like when, uh, they broke up with their person, which was really recently. And so, or maybe like that's when you broke up with your person or something. Um, although I was getting for you that it had been a while, but it doesn't have to be, it could have just been recently. Um, ego, they are learning how to release their ego. You're learning how to release yours as well. I mean, we're always learning how to not fully release, but have ego deaths and really try to live a soul a soul led life, right? I think the both of you will really try to do that and not let your egos get in the way of this love. We have cancer rising here. So this person could be a uh, cancer rising or you could be, they definitely think you have beautiful eyes. I just keep getting that. Like there's something really, really soft and serene about your gaze. Um, also they really like your lips. Um, like, again, I was getting, they like want to bite and like bruise your lips. We have gamer. So like, yeah, you two could have played games together. Um, or you could have like been in relationships where there was a lot of game playing as well. We have Mercury and Aries. So someone could be a Mercury and Aries here or, um, yeah, but they love how you could be very passionate when you speak, like you could speak with a lot of conviction. Um, you could be somebody who like really knows, like when you say something like you really mean it and that's why you might choose your words very carefully, um, but they really love the way that you speak. Greedy, they're gonna be like really greedy with you <laughs> um, in the best way. Like they're just gonna like wanna gobble you up, I just heard. Um, yeah, we've got opposition. So you could be opposite signs. So you could be a Cancer and they could be a Capricorn or you could be an Aries, they could be a Libra. Um, yeah, so you could be opposite signs, but uh, specifically your Mars signs could be in opposition, which is not bad. Actually, that, that can be really good because that can lead to a lot of sexual attraction. Um, we've got slowly please. And they're also going to help you, by the way. They're going to help you accept your opposition with that devil card in my mind. Um, the, the person looking into the mirror and seeing the devil. They're going to like help you heal that. Because it could be like a foundational wound at this point. We have slowly please. Yeah. Yeah. Again, they are going to like change the pace they are gonna like go fast and then they're gonna take it slow um there there's something about baking here too so those are the messages that i'm getting for you thank you for uh sticking with me i know this has been a, a lengthy reading here um let's go ahead and get numbers and letters first and then we'll get some charms and we'll send you on your way i hope you've been enjoying it so far pile two got some letters and numbers that pile two could use okay Cool. So we've got X. So yeah, X's could be very significant here. K. I heard X marks the spot. They're going to want to find your spot, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're going to want to make sure that they find all your spots. We have C, like that make you shiver. And oh, wow. Uh, for you critters out there, I just totally heard shiver and queef. <laughs> Um, for those of you who aren't, it's, it's okay. Um, but yes, they're, they're going to want to find things that make you, um, shake and tremble. <laughs> uh, Casey, Kansas city could be, um, important Casey, like the name Casey could be important as well. Um, I just got Xavier as well. Cause I was like thinking professor X. So maybe somebody's an X-Men, like into X-Men. <laughs> if you're an X-Men, <laughs> whoa, that's really cool. And I want 
to be you. <laughs> but also like, yeah, somebody's name could be Xavier. <laughs> we have W or an M possibly. Um, the CW could be important. Yeah, like superheroes could be important. You could be into like superheroes and comics and stuff. We have F. Um, they could like, like they're kind of impatient a little bit. They want to like fast forward to get to this point. Like they really want to be with you. We have L. They could love the way like the two of you flow together. It's just so effortless. We have J. Uh, you could really joke around a lot. Like I was getting giggling a lot in this pile. So yeah, and I mean, I'm always kind of giggly, right? Let's be honest here, but like, they could really like to joke around with you. We have Y. Oh, KY Jelly coming through. <laughs> we have V, um, which always, again, because of the way I draw my Vs, it just kind of makes me think of the Aries symbol. So Aries energy could be coming through here. Wyoming could be significant for someone. Um, when I saw the V, I thought of Vienna. So like maybe Vienna is important for someone. Um, CVV could be important. I don't know why in the world that's coming through. Um, I just saw a wife. I don't know why. Like they, they could like, not to be gender specific, but they could like want to wife you up. Um, we have V coming through as well. Yeah, like you could have had like a partner, like it, it's so BF, but like um, they could be like your best friend, honestly. Like Facebook could be significant as well. Wimbledon just came through. Why did that come through? Um, interesting. Okay, well, I. I the number four, the only number to come through, that is very significant. So, okay, emperor energy, st uh, steady, like stable, secure foundations. Um, they want to be your emperor. And this is not to be gender specific, but to say like they want to, they want you to be able to depend on them. They're, they want you to rely on them and like really build an empire together. They want to take care of you, um, take care of you by Drake and Rihanna coming through. Um, Someone could be born on the fourth of any month. Someone could be a life path for. Um, someone could also be born in April. So your birthday could be coming up. So a happy birthday, possibly, or happy birth month, um, if you're watching this when I upload. Uh, but I'm going to shake this box now. This has got the charms in it, so it's going to get loud. So if you have earphones in, go ahead and take those out or uh, turn it down at least, okay? So three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, no. Spirit said, take a few more. Okay. Oh, there we go. Spirit was like, no, no. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was getting this. Just one more chapter. You two could be bookworms. Like, you could bond over books. You could, like, give book recommendations to each other. That's so sweet. Maybe, like, ah, uh, like, um, in the future, I could totally see the two of you like being on the couch together and like, like drinking like coffee or tea or whatever drink of choice. Um, could you have, no, but you could be drinking something and like, <laughs> um, I don't know, like they could be like rubbing your feet while they read a book and like you could be reading your book and like drinking a cup of tea. Like it's so sweet. We have do more than just exist. Um, so you could have watched a recent pile of mine, or a pile, aha, a recent reading of mine, and you could have picked the pile that had this backpack in it. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Um, so yeah, Wyoming could be significant, um, but like desert could be significant in general. Maybe the two of you um, bond over like being very natural, like you uh, could like to go hiking or you could just be like environmentalists in some way. We've got, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Um, so yeah, like there is a naughty side to this person. I'm telling you like, and it's going to surprise you because I think like, you know, you've, you might have been friends for a while and like finally getting to see them like take off this mask of sorts is going to be really sexy. We've got paw on the back service excellence. Um, this is from where I live um, at the zoo. Um, so yeah, like they're going to like want to unleash you. <laughs> um, they definitely want to serve you. They want to like take care of you, make you feel good. And 
they want to like give you so much gratitude piled too because like i think you've really helped this person a lot we've got the little starbucks like cold drink cup um so yeah so maybe like summer was important for the two of you maybe that's when you two met was in the summertime um or like summertime is one of your birthdays um summertime could be like when this connection does come into fruition like that could be when this happens like if you're watching this when i upload and you live in the northern hemisphere then that's not like super far away um but also like there's something like like sirene about you like mermaid-esque with these like scales like yeah they think like you are so alluring <laughs> pile too we've got the teapot um with the stars so yeah my little cup of stars coming through maybe you bonded over the show um the haunting of hill house um but i'm also getting like i think you two have really bonded over spirituality and being connected to the divine we've got party animal <laughs> so you guys could be very punny um maybe you're not party animals maybe you are but like i could kind of see like the two of you being a bit more homebodied and a bit more kept to yourself um and you could like joke around like oh yeah party animals in bed by eight <laughs> we've got the sunflower um oh the song sunflower coming through yeah you are their sunflower like you brighten up their day pile too like truly we've got trust your gut so trust your gut on this situation about this person like your gut knows your gut is your second brain right um we've got the hello kitty little like um squishy like pouch so um yeah again something about you and this connection like makes them feel like a kid again like cats could be significant to this connection as well the donut um so yeah uh okay if you're a critter maybe the two of you bonded over like both of you loving jester because i'm totally getting like her having all of like the super old pastries like stuffed away in her pack and stuff like that like giving that to people to eat it's just terrible but but in um for everybody else <laughs> uh they see you as very sweet and like they want to be very sweet to you they they think that you deserve all the sweetness in the world um also i just got like a bunch of donut puns so like yeah they could you could be very like silly together we have treat people with kindness so yeah i think you both believe in treating people with kindness and truly seeing the good in others we have the arms wrapped around one another so i was getting that oh that's so interesting so yeah like they're gonna like really like cling on to you and like hold you during this like sexual encounter i'm telling you like it's gonna be like very like steamy and wrapped up together yeah the perfect pair you two are the perfect pair but more of those puns coming through very cute very cute um if your person can grow a mustache or you can like bravo because it's really nice um just saying um we also have this little teddy bear oh the bear coming through yeah they want to protect you but they're also like super sweet little sticker um and another bear oh my gosh and the hermit like with the little lantern yeah so like maybe right now they're really hermiting or you are too and it's like you're just trying to gather your bearings so that you can be in a good place for this connection like you could feel it like on the horizon but you're like i'm not quite ready yet um oh wait we had one more oh it was hidden away <gasps> This connection could be like full of surprises. We have the rose. Oh, they see you as their their rose. I just heard Briar Rose, so like Sleeping Beauty references. Also, maybe somebody follows Briar Rose on YouTube, like the Briar Rose uh, Tarot channel. Um, but you are someone who has like so many layers, and they just love like peeling back each layer and learning more and more about you. And like this could make you feel so good because this is like what you possibly have always desired pile to like i think there's going to be so much romance in this connection like so much romance so much surprise like they're never going to let this like get old like it's always going to feel new and fresh and beautiful um yeah and they also like they do really love the way you smell just saying um smell and taste they're all about it okay so <laughs> That is all I have for you today, Pile Two. Thank you so, so much for being with me and letting me read for you. Um, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. It makes my day to see that. If you want to see more readings like this in the future, um, 
uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you feel called to. Um, you can also check out the readings that I have already posted for the Sirens Call there. Um, if you want to get some additional messages, you can uh, check out my Spotify on my channel. So go to my actual channel here on YouTube and look at the channel banner and there will be a little Spotify link. Click on that and you will have a specific playlist for your pile. It will be listed under the folder of um, what will happen next, 18 plus. So yeah. Um, and yeah, if you want to let me know how it resonated, please comment in the comment section below. I love seeing your comments as well. But um, I hope that you have a great day or night. Thank you to all of those who have subscribed to me already. By the way, I really do appreciate you all. You've been so incredibly supportive. I love, 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 love you. <laughs> um, but seriously, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye. All right. Hello, pile three. If you chose this little Starbucks cup, then this is going to be reading today. So yeah, welcome. Maybe you two met in Starbucks. I don't know. Maybe it's a story of two baristas. No, but it could be like really cute. Like you could have had a really like cool meet cute at Starbucks, like one of those like movie, you know, things where it's like, <laughs> um, you know, and like rom-coms, you know, like they'll be like, oh, order for, um, Tyler, I don't know why I picked a name that's really close to my own. <laughs> that's original. Um, but they're like, uh, order for Tyler. Maybe one of you is named Tyler. Your person's name is Tyler. Um, and you both like walk up to the to to get the drink, and it's like, oh, your name's Tyler too. So is mine. Wow. And then like you connect. Wow. Well, that's a story. <laughs> that's silly all right so this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a fun file um so we've got for oh, i should probably like sort of tell you stuff i oh man um okay we're gonna start with an energy check Ooh, we're gonna start with an energy check you are gonna be on this side they are gonna be on this side however if you feel like the energy is flip-flopped please feel free to reverse it as uh, you see fit. It is going to be how they see you and then how you see them. That's why I'm doing the energy check today. So um, not everything will resonate with you because it is going to be from their perspective, from their lens, but you should be able to see some of it. Um, and you should definitely be able to know if it's like the person that's on your mind too. Um, but yeah, if you see yourself in both piles, don't be alarmed. That's just a sign of mirroring, which is totally okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get all of your cards out and then we'll get all of theirs. So we've got the alchemist coming out for you first. So the light attribute came out as transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. We've got golden egg for you coming out as well. Sweetness in the reverse. Ah, and don't be alarmed. That's not a bad thing. We've got Mercury, number 15. So 15 could be significant. I'm getting uh, the devil card energy with that. The number 21 coming out as well. So world card energy too. So uh, fixed signs could be here. So um, Aquarius and... Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, or Libra, Leo, I meant, uh, maybe somebody's a Libra in this and they're like, hello. Um, no, but Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus um, coming through. So, and also Capricorn, because Capricorn's energy is linked to the, uh, to the world card. So double Capricorn confirmation. We've got water as well here. Spirituality, emotion, intuition, and com uh, compassion. Yeah, but somebody could be 21 here. Maybe you two met in 2021. For your person, we have the rescuer coming out in the light attributes, provides strength and support to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation of reward. So <laughs> the movie, The Rescuers could be significant. That's what I thought of when I saw that. We have Cosmic Egg coming out. So interesting that you both got egg cards. So yeah very protective of one another um we've got creativity in the reverse so i thought it was interesting that both of your uh prism cards from this deck that's the deck is called prism oracle um came out 
in the reverse. That was interesting. You're the only pile that had any of that happening. So definitely could be mirroring each other. We've got Pluto with the number 22. You could be a year apart, maybe. Somebody could be 21, somebody could be 22. Um, Pluto, they could be Scorpio, possibly. Um, we have Venus coming through as well. Um, so they could have Libra or Taurus um, placements. We've got House 5. So passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity coming through. So, yeah. All right. Let's talk about it, Pile 3. So um, this person sees you as an alchemist. So the book The Alchemist could be important to someone. Um, maybe that's like one of your favorite books. And maybe the two of you like bonded over that. Which, I mean, it's a great book, by the way. If you haven't read it, I highly, highly recommend it. It is, it is beautiful. Um, but yeah, your person really sees you as someone that is always growing. Like, who is always learning from all of their experiences in life. Like, you don't let things hold you back. You don't let things tear you down. Like, you just continue to evolve and learn. Your person really admires that. Um, they see you as somebody who's incredibly spiritual, Pile three. They, they see you as um, someone who's also very capable. Um, definitely see you as someone that's also uh, very intellectual, especially when you pair this with the Mercury sign right here. And the reason that I get like even more with the alchemist being spiritual and intellectual is we got Neptune, which is Pisces energy. And then we have Mercury, which is like, um, you know, Gemini and Virgo energy, you know, very intellectual, very cerebral. So yeah, you are a good mix of both. Um, you could have a lot of water and air in your chart, possibly. Um, maybe you're an Aquarius specifically that just came through, like you're a water bearer, right? Um, yeah, but I do think your person sees you as somebody that's like just brilliant, like a genius. Like they, they're in love with your mind. They are in love with your mind. They're in love with all of the ideas that you have floating around in your mind. They're always just like amazed at like the things that you come up with that you concoct, you know. Um, they love to watch you. They just love watching you grow. Um, <laughs> that could be taken in multiple ways. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was getting the song Evolve by Foria. Um, yeah. Like, you have become the meaning of love for them. <laughs> that's really beautiful. That's really, that's lovely. Um, now, with you coming through with this golden egg, so huh, your person sees you as someone who's very protective of their heart space. The golden egg is linked to the heart chakra specifically. Um, you know, you could be very hard on the outside, like you could come off like very tough, um, perhaps even a bit aloof. Like again, Aquarius vibes kind of coming through and that's not to like speak ill of anybody who has Aquarius placements. Um, it just sometimes can be kind of hard to, to read um, Aquarians, right? And they usually have like the most like loving, like the biggest hearts, right? Um, like I think you have a deep well of emotions with this water card next to it. Like you're very intuitive, you're very emotional, you have a lot of compassion, um, but you might store that inside. I'm getting the song now, um, Sour Candy by Lady Gaga um, and Blackpink. So maybe somebody's a Blackpink fan. Maybe somebody's going to Coachella um, because Blackpink is uh, uh, headlining, which that's amazing. Um, but yeah, somebody could be into K-pop. Um, but yeah, I was kind of seeing that with this like little hard lollipop over here, this heart lollipop. Um, yeah, but you know, you could be um, a little bit of like sour candy, like, like people have to like unwrap you, you know, they have to like really unwrap you, like take you, like take away this nest that is like surrounding you and get to the inside. Um, but I will say your person sees your heart as a precious gift, like they hold it so dearly to them. Like they want nothing more than to nurture and love and protect it. Um, you might be a bit of an introvert, like you might need to take space to discern your own heart messages. 
like to really like tune into your feelings, like really tap into it, which I think a lot of us do, but I think this is something that you intuitively do um, and you're very good at. So I'm wondering if maybe you might be pile three and INFP. Um, you don't have to be, but that's just something that's coming through right now. Um, you're very much, I will say, someone who's not in a rush in life. Like you're like savoring the experience and you really have like taught yourself how to like enjoy the process. And, you know, sometimes um, Mercury energy wants to move really fast, but like Neptune energy is slow. It's 12th house, right? It's, it's um, endings and things like it's very, very slow. It really takes its time, um, which I think you had to really temper in yourself. Um, and you could have done that through the use of like yoga or meditation, possibly. Um, you and your person could do yoga or meditation together. Or you both could be into it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting like, you're very introspective. You're very much a deep thinker. Um, and you're not only a deep thinker, you're a deep feeler. You have a like so much of like emotion. Um, listen with your heart is coming through right now. Like you've really learned how to listen to your heart and let it work for you, not against you. Um, like listen with your heart specifically from, and this has been coming through a lot, which yeah, it's interesting, but I keep getting it. So it's for someone. Um, listen with your heart from Grandmother Willow and Pocahontas coming through. So somebody could be into the movie Pocahontas. Um, yeah, I think you're someone who is who has worked on becoming more comfortable with sweetness in the reverse. Like you could have been, like there could have been a fear of intimacy in some way here. And you have learned how to like, there was a spiritual awakening around this in some way, like maybe a Kundalini awakening specifically, but I think you've really gotten comfortable with intimacy and your person wants that with you, like really craves that intimacy together. And maybe it's because of your person that you have become um, more emotionally and intimately comfortable. Um, you know, your person wants to be a safe space for your heart to land, right? With this little like life preserver. Um, you know, they want you to feel like you can be vulnerable. They want you to, to feel like it's okay to be tender, you know, to be like that soft, sweet center that you are, um, and feel like it's okay, you know, like they're not gonna take advantage of you. Um, you could have started off as friends possibly. Um, also all of a sudden friends, the show just came through. So like maybe you guys watch friends together. I don't know, that was kind of odd, but that came through. So I'm gonna take it. Now let's turn to your person. So this is gonna be how you see them. Um, I see you as like, I. I feel like you see this person as someone who's very humble, someone that downplays their own importance. Like, I feel like your person is someone who is always helping other people. Like, honestly, pile three, I feel like you really look up to your person too. Like, you two could, like, it's so cute because the things that you admire about each other, the things that you see in each other are things that exist in you too. And like, Like, it's so interesting. Oh my gosh. Like, they might not see how sweet they actually are until they look at you, until they, like, are with you and then they realize, like, oh my gosh, I am a sweet person. And then, like, you realize, like, oh my gosh, I am creative, which, I mean, you're the alchemist, right? Like, and they're the, oh my gosh, I love this. Even, oh, oh like, sorry. The, oh, <laughs> that's so beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Um, the, the light bulb kind of looks like what the alchemist is holding. I know it's like a little glass like jar, but the, the ball is similar to this. Like you could have an epiphany in, in really being with this person and immersing yourself in this relationship that like, oh my gosh, I am creative. And like your creativity could be um, something that you realize that you even have. Like, oh, that's so, oh, I love that. I love that so much. Okay, so anyway. Your person is someone that's always helping others. Like I said, they're the friend that they help you through crisis, right? They, they help. Oh gosh. I just got Mary Chrysler. Happy crisis. Um, yeah. So memes, maybe you used to send each other memes back and forth. That, that's very cute. Um, <laughs> you could, you could really entertain each other. Your person could be quite the entertainer too. Um, 
you know, they may not always see their own creativity either. Uh, they may really shy away from it as well. And you could help them see their own creativity. Um, but yes, they are the kind of friend, like I said, that they do help you in a crisis. Like they're the friend that you call when you need to move on short notice. They're the friend that you call at 3 a.m. Like when the world treats you like absolute garbage and it feels like everything went wrong that day and you're sobbing in your bedroom. Like this is that friend. You know, they are so strong, especially internally. And forgiveness and acceptance are something that come very naturally, or it seems to come very naturally, but it actually is from a lifetime of working on this and possibly lifetimes. It comes from being very spiritually awake, from having many deaths and rebirths within this life and others, like in their past lives, I mean. They're very unconditionally loving and they don't have expectation. Like they've really learned to let go of expectations in life and to just take things as they come. Yeah, very, very spiritually enlightened. Um, they could be like very, very beautiful. There could definitely be a duality to this person. Like that's very visible. Like they have really integrated their light and shadow in a way that like the two coexist very peacefully and it's very openly. Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely, but yeah, they, um, they may be very pro uh, protective of you, but I also get the sense that you could be very protective of them. Pile, uh, I almost called you pile two. Maybe you want to check pile two, but pile three, you could be very, very protective of this person, very protective of this relationship. I feel like you're very protective of each other. They could be a year of the snake person, by the way. Um, yeah, like I said, with this cosmic egg, like they're cosmically tapped in, like very spiritual. Um, I think there's harmony here between the two of you. Like it's a very harmonious connection. Um, being together will bring a sense of completion within the two of you like this could honestly pile three this could be your forever person this could be a soulmate like there is infinite potential here with this snake wrapped around and coiled like the infinity symbol There's so much strength in you two being together i'm seeing the strength card now i think you see endless possibility with and in side of this person you two could also telepathically communicate like they could text you and you could be like in the middle of texting them and then you're like whoa like what we were both doing it at the same time it could be really sweet or you like finish each other's sentences or you say the same thing at the same time um yeah but i think you're both very connected to the divine very psychic. Your person, there's something about their eyes that's really beautiful that you're, I think, very hypnotized by, and they feel the same way about yours. There's like a glimmer to their eyes that you're very about. Like, they could have like very bright eyes. You could have like slightly golden eyes. Like, there could be like a slight golden hue. Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish just came through, so maybe that song is important. Like, they could like really make you cry. Like, if they cry, like, you're like, I'm done for it, and vice versa. Like, they're just like, oh my gosh, because I think you're telepathically connected. Like, you know, you could start crying randomly and be like, why am I crying? And then, like, you find out that they had like the worst day, or vice versa. Like, yeah. But your person could be like going through getting rid of self limiting beliefs with their creativity, by the way. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting from your energy check pile three let's go ahead and get into your tarot now so grab those okay so the first thing that we have is the oh wow guys we've got the lovers how beautiful is that what we've got the seven of wands so what is happening next? We've got 
<laughs> um, we've got judgment. We've got the Empress. We've got the Ace of Wands. Well, you know, Ace of Wands is always a good sign. Um, we've got the uh, Knight of Wands in this deck. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in this deck. Interesting. And we've got the Sun card in this deck. So lovely. Okay. Let's talk about it, pile three. So with the lovers coming out as the first energy, I mean, this person, the next time that you see them, like what will happen next, like in an 18 plus way, like when this goes there, like when you two decide to make this an intimate union, it will feel like it was always meant to be. Like, like you two will feel like you have known each other's bodies for centuries. Like you've known each other's bodies for lifetimes is what I just heard. Um, this sex will be something like you've never experienced before because this is like divine. This is divine. Um, there is so much unconditional love here. And this could be somebody that you're already with, by the way. So this could just be like, yeah, I could see somebody being like, um, I don't know. I just want to see what a tarot reader would say about me and my person and our sexual encounters. <laughs> um, so yeah, that could be some of you, but for uh, others, it could definitely be like, no, this is the, this is the first time that you would be intimate together. You know, like what will happen next is your first intimate encounter and that's lovely. So let's talk about, um, Talk about that. Um, <laughs> so I see with the lovers, uh, unconditional love. Like, I feel like there's already this unconditional love for, for each other anyway. Like, the next time you're together, it's going to just, it's going to reach new heights because you are going to express that physically to one another. Um, like it could start off where like maybe they are consoling you maybe they're comforting you and hugging you and then all of a sudden like they lean in and like you kiss each other for the first time and it's like you drop your guard you know because we did get that sweetness in the reverse with you like you just drop the guard on your heart and you you let them in you know like in multiple ways but like for real like you really do let this person into your your heart space and really see into you. Um, like I see you two like giving up the fight, you know, giving up this fight that maybe you've been putting up for a long time of like, no, like we shouldn't, but we should, <laughs> like, but we should because it would be so beautiful. And I feel like you, you two drop your guard at this point. Um, and you decide to take a chance on each other. Um, you know, you could have had your guard up because both of you could be maybe afraid of judgment from people in general, but especially from each other because you do look up to each other so much. Um, this person is going to love everything about you, pile three, like everything about your body. Like they think that you're exquisite. Um, I see you both really like letting down your guard, taking off your, your masks and letting each other see inside. Um, this person could like really like your bum, by the way, like they're really into your, your butt. Like they want to like touch it. There's a lot of play there. Like if you're into it, if you say yes to that, like they're going to test the waters there for sure. Like they want, yeah, they want, they want your booty. They want your booty. <laughs> um, there also could be like, they, they might like, there's something about your back that's really sexy that really turns them on. Um, like 
they might want to take you from behind possibly like in this encounter um there might be like hair pulling as well like they might yank you back by your hair um they like want to see what you look like when you like observe them over your shoulder um like they just i think the two of you will feel so like accepted by the other i feel like there's this fear of judgment and then there becomes this release because you realize like the other really does accept you and loves you for who you are it doesn't only accept they love right with this empress like yeah more unconditional love energy here like uh your person is going to want to like worship you like the empress that you are whether you are identifying as a female or not um you do not have to identify um as that gender um they want to worship you as someone that like they want to give to right like you have this receptive energy they want to pour into you um they want to create with you um they want to create like a home with you i just heard they want to create a whole life with you with the sun card coming through like they want to take you they want to take you away on trips they want to travel the world um they want to see you in this encounter they like they want to lay you down and like they want to see your head thrown back and they want you to just release yourself you know like really release yourself to the light you know like really let yourself have this purely blissful moment and let yourself be worshipped the way that you deserve to be like they're gonna like spend hours and i'm not even joking like they're gonna spend as long as they can like between your legs um no matter what you got going on down there they're gonna like and they're gonna love every second of it like i can totally see someone being like are you okay like do you want to, you don't have to keep going and like them being like no i, I want to <laughs> like i'm doing this because i want to um yeah they they really like this a lot um like they just want to go on this journey with you with this boat you know this ferryman like taking this long boat across a, a river here. Um, you know, they want to, they, they came through as the rescuer. They want to go on this journey with you. They want to ferry you across um, into a beautiful relationship together. They want something that's long lasting, you know, with this night of pentacles energy coming through. Um, Hold on just one second. So yeah, I see them really wanting to make this experience for the two of you something that lasts a long time. Like, you know, it's not just going to be passion and like them getting off. You know, they're worried about like you also like experiencing bliss in this you know over and over and over again i hear like it's going to be sensual and slow and hard and fast in moments you know it's going to be quite the experience between the two of you um they're going to like again like really just like want to look at you for a while they might like want to watch you like touch yourself they might like really like the idea of that like watching you touch yourself and then like it gets them very aroused and stuff but they're gonna want to like really give it to you for a long time um and yeah it's going to be full of passion like i'm hearing it's going to be explosive in moments like and when they do if they um let's say if they have a rod yeah if they have a rod it is going to be very messy. It is going to get very messy at the end. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be, uh, if they do, they are very well endowed. <laughs> just, uh, just saying. Um, 
But yeah, they are just going to want to like pour so much passion into this experience with you. So yeah, that's what I'm getting from the tarot. Uh, let's get some Oracle messages now, and then we will close things out with the letters, numbers, and charms. So we've got quite a few little, um, Oracle cards here. So, okay. The first one that we have is the number two with believe in your beauty with the moon and cancer. So somebody could be a cancer um, in their moon specifically. We have 24, the lure of the easiest way with Venus in uh, Virgo. And then last but not least, we have, ooh, Empress energy with the number three coming through again. So yeah, they definitely see you as their empress. The feelings of an awakened heart with Black Moon Lilith in Leo. So any of those signs could be uh, significant for someone, but they don't have to be. So you know, don't don't feel uh, like this isn't meant for you if that doesn't resonate. Um, as long as the messages overall are resonating, that's what matters most. Um, so definitely divine love here. Someone could be twenty four. Um, I'm also getting the number six here with four and two together. So yeah, more unconditional love at that. Divine union, unconditional love, creativity and union together with the three here. Um, you know, this is two beings coming together and making another. Um, so yeah, yeah, there's, wow, it's, um, this is a beautiful energy, but yeah, like, they want you to see how beautiful you are in their eyes. They actually like, they might tell you a lot during this that you are so beautiful to them. Like, uh, like beautiful by um, Christina Aguilera coming through right now. But yeah, like you are absolutely gorgeous to them. And they could really like, like they want you to like ride them, <laughs> by the way, like, that's coming through pretty strongly like they in the encounter like when you do that they're gonna like be very good about like telling you that yes I like that do that more I really like that they're gonna be vocal they think you have the most gorgeous face like they're gonna like kiss your face they're gonna hold it they're just gonna look at you they're gonna make a lot of eye contact um with these two people like looking right at us yeah I'm getting like lots of eye contact there's something about like your legs for sure they're gonna like constantly be like holding them like I'm seeing somebody like wrapping like they could like wrap your legs around their waist or something or like like want to like spread your legs or something like that like there's something about legs um they're gonna like want to kiss your thighs and stuff they want to be between your legs so that's that's coming through very strongly um with the lure of the easiest way like again, there's something about your butt, like, they're just, like, so about it, because, like, behind this little sticky note, like, this person definitely has, like, a full-on handful of this person's naked butt, <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, they want, like, a handful of that, like, I can totally see, like, you two are making out, and, like, you're hugging, and, like, maybe even somebody, like, walks in, and they're, like, oh, um, <laughs> like, maybe you have a roommate or something, um, and you two, like, don't even, care like <laughs> just like whatever like maybe not but yeah um I think this person no matter what is going to like be like no nothing is oh excuse me for shaking the camera um they are going to want to continue no matter what um they may they're willing to work hard for this love like, they understand that love isn't always easy. And they don't mind, like, in this encounter, like, in an 18 plus way, they don't mind putting in the hard work with this, like, Virgo energy. They do not mind working hard and, like, getting dirty when they need to. Hmm. Yeah. To, um, to make sure that you feel satisfied. Uh, the feelings of an awakened heart, you are, you are waking their heart space up. And I think they are doing the same for you with you coming through with the heart space, you know, with that golden egg card. Um, they think you are absolutely breath breathtaking. You are mesmerizing. Like, again, they're just going to want to, like, stare at you, pile three. They think you are gorgeous. So let's get into the rest of your oracle messages. So we've got quite a few. We've got date night. So, yeah, this could start with a date night. Maybe you two watch the movie date night together. <laughs> That's cute. 
we have when I'm with you, nothing else matters, just you. Yeah, so um when you two are together like when this encounter happens what happens next is like you are going to feel like you are the only two people in the room you are the only two people on this planet truly and this person is going to look at you in that way like what a beautiful gift that is right like not everybody gets to experience this you know and that's that's so wonderful like when you see that when you see that in somebody's eyes when they're looking at you gosh it is just the most like intense feeling we have moon in aquarius so someone could be a moon in aquarius i was getting that with you a little bit with the aquarius energy so maybe you have a moon in aquarius specifically um you could have a hard time sometimes really expressing how deeply you actually feel things and i think <coughs> excuse me hopefully that wasn't too loud i tried to get away from the mic um i think in this encounter your emotions are going to come to the surface. Like you might really have like an emotional experience. Like you could actually like cry or have like a release in that way during this, which could be intense. We have perfectionist. So um, I think your person might be a little bit of a perfectionist. Um, you could be too. I definitely get that from your person. They like want it to be perfect between the two of you. Like they could be a perfectionist. Like with, I'm getting like that Virgo energy again. Like they're just like, I want to make sure that like you are satisfied, you know, no matter what. We have Sun and Taurus. So someone could be a Sun and Taurus here. Um, very Venusian. So your person did have, uh, Vir uh, not Virgo, Venus energy on their side. So they could be a Sun and Taurus. We've gotten a lot of um, Empress energy as well, which is Taurus and Libra. Um, so yeah, there's going to be something really just like beautiful about this experience next time together. Like, it's going to be beautiful, but raw and passionate too. Like, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I get so nervous when you're around. I do think you make your person very nervous. Like they're just like super yeah, like giddy and like jittery like around you. I'm going to marry you. Oh yeah. They're so sure. They are so sure. Like after this experience, they're like, I'm, I'm buying a ring. Like it's like Jim and Pam, like Jim in the office when he like buys the ring after they go out for the it's just so beautiful like he buys the ring because he knows he already knows and he even admits like he knew before this night your person already knows oh that's beautiful they know it in their heart polarity yeah i think that you two could be very polarizing to each other like you could be very like polar opposites um maybe like they're a scorpio you're a taurus or you're a taurus they're a scorpio or something like that um uh but you two just work you just like you are the perfect pair we have bedroom eyes yeah they love your eyes lots of uh eye contact in this moment too mars and aquarius so lots of aquarius energy coming through um they could like really want to explore like new territory sexually with you that they've you know never done before maybe like things that they felt like they would have been judged for in the past. Like they're like, no, I can like really be myself with this person. That's so, so nice. We have so come and look inside of me. Watch me while I bloom. You only got one side of me. Here's something new. Watch me while I bloom by Haley Williams. Yeah. They're going to like want to watch you orgasm uh, straight up. Like there's no going around that one. Like that one just, yep. Um, yeah. They want to watch you reach your climax. It's, it's just, yeah, they, they want to watch the way that your face contorts, the way your body like moves during this. I tell myself all the words he surely meant to say. I'll talk until the conversation doesn't stay on between the lines by Sarah Bareilles. So you two could be reading between the lines with each other a lot in conversations. Like there could be a lot of innuendos. Like you could be like flirting a lot, but it's like, maybe it's like, covert and it's not like as direct as the two of you think it is like they could be thinking like oh there's no way that pile three doesn't know i like them and they're thinking the same thing and it's like neither of you really know how the other feels about you possibly and it's like uh <laughs> um it's very cute we have soft spoken so someone can be very soft spoken they want to whisper in your ear they want to is <laughs> whisper they want to <laughs> what <laughs> They want to whisper in your ear. They they want to um, like whisper sweet nothings. They 
They want to tell you how beautiful you are. We have Mercury and Cancer, so yeah, they could have a Mercury and Cancer, or you could. Um, yeah, they want to like say like sweet, loving, kind things to you. We have Can You Make Me Leave My Demons and My Broken Pieces Behind, Wild by Troy Sivan, featuring Alessia Cara. So yeah, like they this sexual experience is going to like bring you to like the truth of yourselves. Like it's going to help you um as you connect with them it's going to like again i was getting like there there could be like sexual healing like literally you could cry during this experience or vice versa and it's like it's because there's like a, a like an awakening happening like they could trigger your kundalini awakening or you could it's going to be a wild experience a wild ride um but it's going to help you leave behind some broken pieces um or at least like bring them together you know um i know that it's not your fault that you love her and i'm betting that you will discover i'm not someone you can try to keep trouble by rehab featuring verity um hmm. so maybe in the past like okay so maybe in the past someone here was put in third parties a lot and maybe you had to walk away from a lot of people that didn't really value your energy and you could be like closed off like that could be why you're ah so that could be why your heart space is closed off from people like that's why your sweetness was in reverse you're like i'm not going to just let anybody have me anymore i'm not just someone that you can try to keep and like i'm not like i you can have your cake and eat it too person like no either it's me or it's you know it's nothing um like, you know your worth now, and you're not going to let yourself get into that kind of trouble. And so you could be really scared right now of this person because of how you feel about them. I'm putting on a facade. I don't know what you, I don't want you to know how much I still want you. Oh, interesting. So maybe you two have a past with each other. Um, They could be really trying to hide how much they do want you. Um, If you have a past together, like, yeah, this person definitely still wants you. I wasn't really getting that initially, Um, but maybe. I mean, maybe this person put you in a third party situation in the past. They've definitely changed a lot. Um, this is their truth. Like, and regardless, they definitely, they do want you. And they could be putting up a facade just as much as you are, like, you know, to protect themselves. I learned how to let us go. I choose me. So yeah, this could be about like past relationship stuff for you. Like you could have learned how to let relationships go that were cluttering up your heart space. And again, like this sexual experience with this person could like be like the final, like uh, healing piece that you needed um, so that you could really begin again with that judgment card coming out like this could be an awakening a, a very healing energy here i have a secret the secret is that they love you pile three the secret is that they love you i know the secret venus and scorpio yeah they like there is a deep deep love for you deep in their heart space you are there you are etched across their heart oh wow double scorpio we have sun and scorpio now so yeah, lots of Scorpio energy coming through, lots of passion. Like they feel things so deeply for you, much like you feel things very deeply on your side. They feel very deeply for you too. It is not surface level love. I know way more than what I let on to you. They remember everything that you tell them, Pile 3. They like really study you. They, they, and it's not like in a bad way, like where they want to use something against you. Like it's not, it's not that. It's because they want to like, they want to know all of you. Oh man, all of you by uh, John Legend. Um, yeah, sheep. So someone could be year of the sheep here. Um, they think that you're really beautiful. There's something about your hair that is very beautiful. They, they really like, want to touch it. It's very soft. It's very inviting. Um, you're very, very pretty. Like they just, they think you're so lovely. You don't have to pretend with me. Let your guard down. Yeah. They want you to let them into your heart space. Like they don't want you to pretend we have God complex. So you could have been with people who had a God complex and they could have really messed with your heart. 
we have turquoise. Yeah, you like really had to learn how to protect yourself. You know, you could have um, you could have Native American roots possibly with turquoise. Um, yeah, we've got August. So someone could be born in August. I was getting the strength card. So somebody could be like a Leo or have Leo in their chart somewhere or have something in the, oh, uh, fifth house came through. So maybe your person has like sun and Scorpio in the fifth house. Um, but yeah, this could be like when you met or when this is going to happen possibly in August. I'm not really sure right now. Um, they could be like not really sure like how to move forward, like not really sure like when this is going to take place. They just know that they want it to. Um, but I think that they're nervous. We have Mercury and Taurus. Yeah, so um, they could have a hard time communicating their feelings sometimes, like a hard time putting it into words. Um, yeah, like they could have a hard time like telling you how much you mean to them, how much they love you or vice versa. Animal lover, pet owner. So somebody could be a pet owner here. Um, animals could be important to this connection. Um, they definitely like, oh, I just got, they want to be your animal lover. Like they may want to like, I mean, they like want to get like wild and rough and free with you. Yeah. Bite marks. Yeah. They want to like leave bite marks. They want to leave like hickeys and their mark on you. Yeah. They want people to know. Every time you pull away while I'm kissing you, I want to growl and pull you back into me where you belong. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Pile three, this is the first time this one's ever come out. That is amazing. I don't remember this card. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's a thing. So every time that you pull away from them in this moment, like they're going to growl and they're going to pull you back into them. And they're, I feel like they're going to like say this to you. Like, they're just going to unleash themselves and be like, a daddy. <laughs> they, yeah, they could have daddy energy. Um, they want to like show you who's boss. Oh man. They want to show you who's boss. They want to show you where you belong. They're going to growl that in your ear. I want the side of you that you don't show to anyone else. Yeah. They want to unleash you just the way that you're going to unleash them. They want you to be like raw with them. Yeah, we got something good, but I'm going to set you free. You won't be gone for good. No, I'm not worried. So whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Whenever you're ready by Mahalia. Um, so yeah, maybe this started off as a situationship or something and like you two set each other free and maybe like a part of you just intuitively knew like, no, this isn't the end. Like we're going to get back together. Like I just know it. Um, but for some of you, like you could have have you could have a past person in your energy that like really wants you back and they're just like really cocky. So that's just for somebody. But uh, let me in on all the secrets that shattered you to pieces. Call on me by India uh, Carey and Storyboards. Um, so, yeah, they they want to know everything about you. Like I was saying, like they remember everything that you tell them, like they care so much about your heart. They, they want to treat it as the precious thing that it really is for them. We have coffee. So yeah, I think like you might stay the night with them and they might make you coffee in the morning. Um, someone could have like coffee colored eyes. Like they could have like very warm brown eyes. They really love your eyes. We have autumn. So somebody's name could be autumn. Autumn could be significant here. Someone's birthday could be an autumn. Somebody could be, uh, you know, born in October or November. So they could be a Scorpio. Um, we have, because I love my baby tall, dark Hades, Lord of Death is down on his knees for me. Oh man, from Persephone by Kiki Rockwell. Uh, this is a great song, but um, hmm. yeah, so it, they might like have you like call them like pet names, like you two might like have pet names for each other. Like maybe you decide to start calling each other like Hades and Persephone in the bedroom. Um, Hades and Persephone could be significant in some way. Um, we did get Plutonian vibes, so yeah, I could see them, like, maybe they're, like, a Scorpio, and, like, yeah, maybe they are tall, dark, and handsome Hades, um, but yeah, there was, like, a lot of, like, in between your legs going on, so yeah, they, they don't mind getting down on their legs and worshiping their goddess, is what I just heard, so, um, not, again, not gender specific, just the receptor in this. Um, I love you always forever, near and far, closer together. Everywhere I will be with you. Everything I will do for you. Good luck getting this song out of your head. Always Forever by Donna Lewis. This is a great song. Um, they do. I mean, 
again, like maybe this started off as a situation ship and you two started catching feels and then you were like, oh no. And like you, maybe one or both of you got scared or something like happened in life where you just couldn't really like focus on this relationship and you took space. And you know though that you were gonna come back together because you you two love each other like forever and always, for real. Like it doesn't matter how far you get. Like I'm seeing like the red string of fate. Like you can pull and tug on that sucker all you want. You can try to cut it. It's not working. Like it's not working because you two are meant to be together in some way. Like this is meant to happen. This is being divinely led. Fight so dirty, but you love so sweet. Talk so pretty, but your heart got teeth. Late night devil, put your hands on me and never let go. Hmm. Teeth by five seconds of summer. So yeah, they like, I think that they want like to, I'm telling you, they really want to uncage this part of you. Like, cause like they, they there is a part of you that is sweet, right? Like, even though sweet was in reverse, like, there, when when you get down to it, like, you know, they know that there's this sweet side of you, but then, like, you fight super dirty with that seven of wands energy. Like, they could, like, oh, they could like that. Um, not, like, in a toxic way that where they want there to actually be fighting, but it's, like, they, they could, like, play wrestle with you or something. Um, like, maybe they, like, pin your arms behind your back and you, like, fight against it or something, and they're, like, yeah, they could be, like, very very much in like daddy energy <laughs> um but yeah they could they they really like the way that you talk um but yeah like they, they like the way you bite them and stuff uh you can't sleep you can't eat there's no doubt you're in deep addicted to love by robert palmer yes they are addicted to your ass is what i just heard like they're addicted to you for real um they are super addicted to you and to the love like they can't stop they can't stop themselves after this. And it's half my fault, but I just like to play the victim. Stick season by Noah Kahan. Um, hmm. So yeah, like, so you could have the toxic ex that's coming through, but this could also be this person. Like maybe they had to learn how to not play the victim here and instead to step into the rescuer because maybe like, maybe you two do have a past together. Like now I'm seeing like six of cups. This could be somebody from your past and they may have played the victim for a while and they weren't taking their fair share of the blame. And now they're starting to, and like when they fully take accountability for the stuff that they messed up in this connection, it's on, it's on. I can bring your fears to life. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. Meet me in the woods by Lord Huron. Um, so yeah, this person is going to be like super, super open with you in in this sexual encounter right like i think you both are going to be i think you're both going to be like super nervous about like you know being vulnerable and then it's just it's going to be like a release valve i feel like it's going to heal you two so much do you remember when you said if i saw your trouble i'd be scared pretty boy like by lynn and stella um so like they want to see the truest parts of you they want to see the troubled past they want all of it pile three like they're not going to get scared um you know they can handle it they're not just a, a pretty person you know and vice versa they know you're not either we have and i'll dream each night of some version of you that i might not have but i did not lose stick season by noah kahan again so that song could be very significant for someone you might want to check it out um there will be a playlist for each pile today so you can go to my spotify on my channel by the way and check that out um uh just visit my youtube channel first go to the the youtube banner and click that link for spotify and it'll take you there it'll be titled um the folder title will be what will happen next um and then you'll be in pile three so um anyway yes they didn't lose you like even though this may have ended in the past like you didn't lose each other you're still connected in the 5d like for real though like i know sometimes we i feel like this sometimes can be very hard for people to believe but like if you're dreaming about this person like they are it's because they're still connected to you it's not just illusion it's not just in your mind this person dreams of you all the time. 
Like you did not lose them. They did not lose you. Oh, hello. Are you lost too? Did I read the other side of this one? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> I was talking about that one for a while. So, uh, yes, they are also lost and they want to get lost in you. Hmm. They like in that journey of this next encounter, like they just want to lose themselves in you. Australia could be significant. You could have some Aussies in this pile. So welcome. Um, there's something not right here. Yeah, they don't feel like it's right to not be together, pile three. Like, they want to be with you so badly. Um, we have, there's something familiar about you. So, yeah, you could have had, like, past lives together, just in general. Like, even if you don't resonate with, like, having this past with the person, you don't have to take that. That doesn't mean that this doesn't resonate for you, like, that this message isn't meant for you. Um, but you could, you could have just, like, actual um, past lives together. Uh, and it feel, makes you two feel very familiar to one another. I'm playing mind games because I don't know how else to communicate. They could have played mind games with you in the past. Um, or you could have had people play a lot of mind games with you. And it could have, like, again, really closed up your heart space. We have Sun and Sagittarius. So someone could be a Sun and Sagittarius in this connection. Maybe your ex that's coming through, if it's not this person, is a Sun in Sagittarius, just something that's coming through. Um, but yeah, like as far as your person and how they see you, like they love the fact that you are someone who's constantly learning and expanding. So those are the messages that I'm getting. So thank you for sticking with me. I know that was a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna finish things out with letters, numbers, and charms. So Letters, numbers, and then charms. So letters and numbers for pile three. Cool. So letters, we've got C, K, so KC could be significant. Someone could be from Kansas City. Somebody could have just traveled to Kansas City. We've got Z. We've got A, somebody's name could be Zach, literally. <laughs> um, we've got W, somebody could be from Washington. Um, birds could be significant because I just saw Ka, so like maybe like when you see like, I just saw like a blackbird or a raven in my head. Um, so maybe when you see ravens, that means your person is thinking of you and sending you like a message. We have L. So um, CL could be somebody's uh, initials, um, LC maybe. Law could be significant. Somebody could be practicing law. Um, you could feel like there's a wall between the two of you. Um, we've got an O or a zero. So there's infinite potential between the two of you. You could be going through a low point in life where they could be like, they could be like hitting rock bottom sort of and like, you know, really learning from a lot. Um, cows could be significant. Maybe somebody's like a year of the ox. Um, we've got eight here. So somebody could be born in 80 or 08 oh, could have been a very significant year for you. Um, we've got two. So 28 could be significant. 20, like maybe 2020 was very significant for you. Um, maybe that's when you two met. We have six as well. So 62, 68, 86, 82, 26, um, 60, 06, 02. Somebody could have been born in 02. Um, but so I'm getting like the full card. They want a new beginning with you. If they've already been with you before, they want a new beginning with you. Um, they want to transform this connection. Like regardless, like they want to transform this into something that is long lasting. And yeah, with this eight, like eighth house um, being represented here, they could be born in August. August did come through, I believe, right? in your card. So um, yeah, the infinity loop, they see infinite potential in you and this connection with the full energy and the Ouroboros coming through. Um, so, yeah, also someone could be a life path eight or be born on the eighth of any month. We have the number two here. So yeah, more of that um, divine union coming through, you know, very much a soulmate, like 
and unconditional love coming through again, like lots of unconditional love, lots of signs pointing to this being a, a divine union, possibly. Um, you could be born in February in Aquarius, possibly born in February. Um, or a Pisces, um, life path two as well, or born on the second of any month. You could be a life path six. Um, you could also be born in June or on the sixth of any month. We're going to get some charms now. So I'm going to shake this box. It's going to get loud. So three, two, one. came out you bring a lot of happiness to this person for one thing but also this is definitely a very spiritually guided and protected divinely protected connection we have the little orange with the peel getting um you know peeled back like uh, ripped back so they really want to like peel your layers back and see what's inside they like want you to feel safe with them they want to be a safe space for them um, they may be like really jittery, like they want to send you messages, but they keep like stopping themselves. Like maybe something is like delaying them. Maybe you're blocked, like you two are, like maybe they're blocked specifically. I feel vibrant, alive, passionate, and sexy. That's how they want to make you feel, pile three. Like they want to make you feel this way because this is how you make them feel. We've got this little... Oh, I love this one. We've got this little gingerbread man. Um, Shrek just came through in my mind. Eat me. Uh, yeah, they'd like to do that. Um, yeah, they think that you're super sweet. Um, they do. They see the sweetness in you that others may not see. Um, they want to take a bite out of you. I'm telling you, there's something about biting here. Um, hell admit one. So they feel like they don't deserve you. 666, unconditional love coming through for sure. Um, but yeah, hell admit one, they feel like they don't deserve you. Like after what they did possibly, or yeah. yeah. Like they, they want to save this though. They want to. Me, sarcastic? Never. They're, I think they're very sarcastic, pile three, or maybe you are, maybe you both, like you have like a sarcastic sense of humor and you guys bond over that. I speak fluently in movie quotes. Um, yeah, I do think that you two could speak fluently in mo movie quotes for sure. Um, like you could have bonded over like movies or certain films. Yeah. Um, you wish. Maybe you're like turning your back on them and like you're like no like you wish you could have another chance um and they they're like pining after you like they you are their wish you are their wish you are safe with me oh little safety pin they want you to feel safe with them pile three so badly why they keep asking themselves why did i mess this up if they if this is like someone that's from your past like they are they're really like kicking themselves in the butt right now they're like why did i mess this up we have the little bear with the little um uh, messenger bag or like the little uh, fanny pack um with the little chick on it so yeah they like first of all i just got like they want to carry you around in their pocket like they just love you they think you're so cute they love you um they want to hold you they want to snuggle with you um they want to travel with you. Traveling's coming through now. We've got, yeah, you are so immersed in their heart. You make them so joyful. Um, Ponyo coming through here. Uh, you rule their emotions. Like, you rule their heart. You make them feel wild and free and, and youthful again. No, oh, that's beautiful. We've got trust your gut. So yeah, it's safe for you to trust your gut on this. Um, the universe is, is telling you to trust how you feel. It's too people-y outside. Maybe you two are both very introverted and you like to like stay in. Um, I think they're gonna really like staying in with you um, and like being with you after this encounter. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for your reading today, pile three. I hope this message resonated and if it did, please uh, give me a thumbs up. 
or uh, leave me a comment as well if it um, if it did resonate in fact for you um, you can do that in the comment section below um, if you would like to subscribe to the channel you can but by no means do you have to for those of you who already have thank you so much i love having you here like i said i will have a playlist to, uh to this reading today so you can check that out um, on my spotify which like i said will be in the link in my channel's banner so you can visit that um and yeah i love you all so so much i hope that you are having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and until next time bye all right hello pile four if you chose the flip-flop then this is going to be a reading today about what will happen next between you and your person so this can be somebody that you're in a relationship with this can be somebody that you're not in a relationship with it's kind of been like back and forth flip-flopping <laughs> um for each reading today so um, yeah, both, both possibilities here. Um, but we're going to do an energy check as always. So you're going to be on this side, your person's going to be on this side. It's going to be a little bit different today. So I'm going to talk about how they see you and how you see them in this connection. Um, and yeah, if you feel like you're actually more on this side, then we'll just flip it. Um, but yeah, if you see yourself in both sides, it's just a sign of mirroring, which is totally okay. So let's go ahead and hop right into it so we're going to get out all your cards first which we have first coming out the queen with the light attributes radiates the regal feminine this is not uh gender specific so you can identify however um it is that you do and still be resonating with this energy this is just about receptivity um uses their benevolent uh, benevolent <laughs> authority to protect others so We've got the black egg coming out for your side as well. So throat chakra, very important. We have magic in the reverse coming out. Um, oh, so you were the pile that had, I guess I forgot. Um, you, there's another pile that had a, a reversed card like this. We have Gemini coming out with the number 11 or um, oh, I was looking at their symbol. Maybe the number 11 is important for you though new beginnings okay okay the number three could be significant so empress energy which is interesting because you are coming out as the regal feminine or receptive energy here um house eight so transformation karma facing fears and legacies as well coming out so you could have gemini in the eighth house possibly um for your person we have the destroyer light attributes revealing what is potentially destructive and preparing for new life interesting they could have a bit of scorpionic energy as well we've got the wolf spirit coming out for them interesting the colors on here it kind of looks like flames in the background and then you have this volcano erupting here so that's interesting um hmm. uh, we've got frustration so they could be feeling sexually frustrated right now um that's just something that's coming out gonna be honest um we have Aquarius. There it is. Oh, that's so interesting. The number 11. Huh. Okay. 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 Um, so the number 11 could definitely be significant for someone. And Pisces. So they could have uh, Pisces in the 11th house or something. But yeah, intimacy, intuition, and compassion. Okay. So let's talk about it. You two could both be air signs or your person could have a lot of air and earth in their chart. Um, you could have a fair bit of air as well, possibly maybe air and water. Um, but let's, yeah, let's get into it. So your person, they see you as an empress. Again, um, not gender specific here. It's just, they see you as all of the queens in the tarot molded into one, which is who the empress is right it embodies all of the queens in the suits and so yeah they see you as this queen of wands this queen of cups the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles all wrapped in into one person um very talented very capable of taking care of yourself as well as others there's a, a regal authority to you pile three or maybe you want to watch pile three too um pile four you're very stable um gorgeous i heard like you have a gorgeous profile they love like just looking at you they think that you're just so beautiful yeah all these people being in profile they think you like have a stunning profile like literally and also like 
they could really like like your social media profiles like they could love looking at those um pictures that you have up so yeah they there's a powerful energy to you um they feel like you're one of the only people that they've ever felt like i would submit to this person because i think this person is a very powerful human in and of themselves as well um and they don't just submit to anyone um but they would submit to you like they will submit um yeah they they kind of actually want you to take charge of them to be honest like there's a part of them that's like i would like it if they took charge of me and told me what to do um They'd like to like i just heard they would like to give you a throne to sit on so you know um that's that's really nice power <laughs> i'm just teasing him but yeah like they they would like to um I, oh wow i don't know if i can say that well i'm going to um they would like to explore your holes yep okay well uh <laughs> it's been great now that i'm kicked off youtube <laughs> Um, no, but they, they could really want to explore your body. Um, <laughs> there is a radiance to you. They find you very radiant. Um, you're someone that they look at and they're like, you know, pile four is like, they don't take shit from people, but they're also like, not someone who doles out shit. Like you're very sweet. Like there is a kindness to you. Um, I'm getting like, Khaleesi Daenerys vibes before the last season like you know like after like in like the second and third season that's 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 the that's the sweet spot right there yeah that's when I'm getting like this energy you know like you're a really good like boss or leader in some way um you lead by example uh and you lead with a pure heart. It's really beautiful. You could be an influencer. And you're definitely very influential. If you're not an influencer, like you really could be. Um, you have a powerful voice. With you coming through as the black egg, like your person um, loves the way that you speak. Like there is magic in you, in your throat chakra that could be hidden away. Um, or it could have been hidden away. You could be transforming that currently. Like you could be doing a lot of throat chakra healing, which pile four, I'm very proud of you. Like, seriously, thank you. Like that is, thank you to you, like for yourself. Like that is, that is beautiful work to be doing. Um, and in doing that, you could be really helping the collective heal that as well. Um, but yeah, you could have been a black sheep in your family a bit. Um, you know, you could have been silenced in a way. You could have been told like, your your thoughts your opinions didn't matter um and you could be transforming that karma facing that fear of of yourself of your own power of your voice and leaving a new legacy for um those around you but yeah i i do see that there could have been a blocked intuition there could still be a blocked intuition with magic coming in the reverse um yeah you could still still be processing this, really stepping into your power and taking back what was stolen from you. Um, you know, you are learning how to become authentically yourself. Um, your person could be seeing like you really stepping into your power and they're like really proud of you. Like they're watching you very heavily. Um, you could be like really tackling people pleasing tendencies, um, really becoming more assured in who you are. Um, again, I don't know if you're a singer. Do you sing pile four? Cause there's something with your voice that your person like loves. Like if you sing, they really love the way that your voice sounds when you sing. Um, also they like, if you two have been together intimately and you're just asking about what it's going to be like the next time you're together intimately, like if you're like, maybe you're in like a long distance relationship or something. Um, which, yeah, maybe that's why they're frustrated. <laughs> like, they're like, I want to destroy this distance. I'm so angry. Like, which I could see that maybe with, like, Pisces, like, traveling or something. Even though it's not, I mean, typically what Pisces would be. But um, I could kind of see that. Uh, but anyway, yes, they want to, like, either they like the way that you moan or they want to hear the way that you moan. Like, they really like it. They love the way that you say their name. 
like if you say their name it shins it shins <laughs> they can't even they can't even speak that's the thing like they're like i couldn't even put it into words <laughs> so so bravo to you reader for trying um no but it like sends shivers down their spine um maybe you're maybe you're an actor like maybe you you do like voice acting or or something like that um definitely could be like i said i'm getting like an influencer on a platform somewhere um really or, or maybe you've been thinking about that and this is the green light to do that your person believes in you i believe in you spirit believes in you um you got all the belief here um but your person really admires you pile four um and i will say like also conversations with you are so interesting and deep and fun for this person like they love your mind they love how you speak your mind like they want you to continue to do that they they really really love that they want you to be free they want you to be yourself we also have um for your person like how you see them so huh you might see this person as someone who doesn't let things hold them back with this destroyer card archetype coming through um i'm seeing the wild unknown archetype deck with the round cards of the destroyer as well so yeah you're not your person's not afraid of change um like i'm hearing they're a change bringer very transformative they could have some uh scorpionic energy in their chart somewhere um maybe they have like their son is in their eighth house like maybe maybe you both have son in eighth house or something or like eighth house placements are very significant for you um and you you two just like intuitively get it you just get it you're like yeah like change is so good and it's like you get they get frustrated when they're not changing like they don't like to stagnate it's like one of their worst fears um they could be starting over in life in some way they could be really frustrated with how their life has been going, maybe like specifically in career for some reason just came through. Um, they could be like studying something new with Aquarius coming through, like coming up with like maybe they have like a new idea that they've been dreaming of for a long time. And maybe seeing you step into your power and bringing your dreams to life and bringing your magic to life has has given them like the courage to do the same thing. They could be uh, releasing self-destructive tendencies that help held them back. Maybe like um, addictions uh, to things. It doesn't have to be addictions to substances. It could be addictions to a lot of different things, but it could be addictions even to like control, for instance. Like they could be very controlling of themselves because maybe they didn't have a lot of control growing up, you know? Um, there's definitely something very like sexy about your person, like especially their eyes, like their eye contact, oof, like it's it's game over for everybody. <laughs> like like they have some powerful eyes. Um, very carnal, very primal desires here awakened um, for you from your person, I think. Um, also, they feel that for you and you can like feel that. Like it's like, um, oh gosh. I just got like V stars, like like they could see you as the rabbit and they're the wolf and like they're just like a red they're just like ready to like attack like and you can just feel it you can feel that palpable sexual tension all the time between the two of you I'm hearing it's like you could cut it with a knife, um yeah but you could see your person like they could you could know that they're very family oriented um they could be a guardian for someone specifically like maybe they adopted somebody in their family or they adopted a kid like in general like they could be a guardian um they could also be like an activist life path nine is coming through for me um like could be a humanitarian in some way like very into like um you know uh standing up for a cause you know uh could be like very into like social justice or politics like that that could be something that they converse with you a lot about because they're very passionate about it like they could get very fired up over it um there could be like spiritual rituals in their family like or maybe like cultural significance in their family um maybe you two are from totally different backgrounds but like they want to like uphold those things um they could be a mentor or a teacher for someone or for something like they could like teach at a school they could teach um 
like about their culture or something like they could uh yeah they could mentor do mentorship um for like spirituality as well um they could be very open-minded right but it could have happened actually because um like they may not have been as open-minded as they initially thought they may have learned recently this could have frustrated them about themselves this is coming through they could have learned to let go of the, the need to make others think or feel the same way that they do like right that controlling energy coming through um they actually could have learned more tolerance from you pile four they could have learned how to be more accepting of others because of you Oh gosh, because of you by <laughs> Kelly Clarkson coming through. I certainly hope not. Um, but yeah, they are a very reliable person, I think, in life. Um, you know, as much as they they can change and and they are very complex, I think that they do have a very stable energy, very emperor-like in this energy. So interesting that you have like this empress-like energy and they're coming through as an emperor-like energy. Um, they are very fearless, good at letting go and living in the present. So that's what I'm getting as far as the energy check goes. So thank you for sticking with me. We're going to start getting into the tarot now. So let's see. We've got... Ooh, the Ten of Wands coming through here. Okay. We've got the Two of Swords coming through. They really like your chest. No matter what you got going on there, they like it. Um, yeah, they really like it. Uh -huh. I gotta cover that card. <laughs> um, we have the Four of Cups coming out. They really like wanna bite on your chest. Oh my gosh, yeah. Every time I say something, then the next card I see, it's like, it's what I'm talking about. That is, and that's intense. Okay, uh, the Ten of Cups. Wow, 10, 10 is a time that you could be seeing. Um, could have had an ending in a like could have had an ending here in this relationship and you're like hoping for a rebirth possibly we've got the tower oh wow okay okay more 10 energy okay 10 10 10 um yeah okay so we've got the five of pentacles We've got the Magician and finally we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so let's talk about it, Pile 4. So with this Ten of Wands, um, they don't want to play games with you. Like, they may, there may have been game playing in the past in this connection. You know, like, and maybe that's something that they're trying to like actively change. Like they're frustrated because they're realizing like, yeah, you're right. Like maybe you called them out for this and they're like, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, and they're healing this right now. But as far as this next encounter between the two of you, they want to put like all their cards on the table. You know, they want to... They want to leave these obstacles that were in your way behind. They want this to be a moment where you two can really explore each other and like really be sure of each other with this two of swords right next to it. Like they're so sure of you, pile four. Like if there was any hesitancy before, it's gone. Like they could want to like play games in the bedroom, but like it's it's not mind games. It's you know, maybe they like want to tie you up or like they want you to like call them like pet names or or something like that. They want to like role play, but like they don't want to like play games with you the way that they used to possibly. Like there's no more back and forth in their head. Like I said, like they're going to like let their guard down. They are going to 
overcome this fear of messing up things with you. I think they may have self-sabotaged a bit, like, and they are deciding to really be immersed in you and be present with you fully. Um, they are going to like, want to go all night long with you like from dusk till dawn i just heard um they want to explore your body they want to like slowly undress you and like reveal you to them um there's definitely something about your chest that they are like really into like they really really like the way that your chest looks and they're gonna like focus a lot on that um like there could be a lot of like playing with your chest specifically like kissing uh tweaking and touching yeah like lots of that um they're gonna be like so incredibly focused on you um with the four of cups like yeah they they don't want anyone else. They And they, there could have been like a fear of rejection here. Um, like this could be like the obstacle that they have to overcome for this encounter to even happen. Um, like this could start because like maybe you're like talking to each other. Maybe you're like laying on the bed together and you're just like talking about like unpacking what happened in the past possibly or just talking about like whatever together if nothing has happened before and maybe they have like their head in your lap and you're looking down at them and they like they reach up to kiss you they're they do not want you to reject them they're so scared of you rejecting them in that moment and then you don't like you fully embrace them like they might pull you into their lap or vice versa and they're gonna like really want to like explore your chest with their mouth like I'm telling you that is something that is very much happening in the next encounter they really really like that but they also like they want they want for this encounter to lead to like a full-blown connection for the two of you um with this ten of cups like you are happiness to them like you personify happiness for them and like in an 18 plus way, like they want to bring you to bliss, like until you lose count, until you lose count. And they really like want you to ride them. Um, they want to like put their hands on your butt and like feel you riding them. That's coming through. Um, also, there's something about like your facial expressions, like they're going to be very focused on that. Like um, they're going to really pay attention and like make sure that you enjoy it um with this uh knight of swords like yeah it's gonna like when it starts it starts you know like there's no going back you know um they will ask like if it's okay like they'll check your boundaries um but they're going to move very fast um like once once it really gets going it's it's like it's full throttle there's no stopping this um and with the magician like it is going to feel magical i just heard like their touch like is going to feel so good on your skin like it's gonna feel like they know exactly how to touch you when to touch you where to touch you like it, the pacing and everything um like they're reading you like you're a book um they could like want you to like be blindfolded or like close your eyes possibly with like this five of pentacles next to it like they want you to feel exhausted after this like i mean they like want to go all night long they want you to be absolutely spent at the end of this like you got nothing else to give. They want to drain you dry is what I just heard. Like with the tower card, they want to end all possibility of you ever being with somebody else. They want to, at least if, if nothing else, they want to make sure that you never, ever experience something like this again. Like there's no way, there's no way. Um, yeah, they, they want it to go 
on and on and on is what I'm hearing. So that is what I'm getting from the tarot. Let's go ahead and get into your Oracle messages. So you got four of these Oracle messages. So let me see. Okay. So we've got first coming out. Oh, I did not see that one. Um, we've got 28 indulging in the possible pleasure and I'm sorry, indulging in the impossible pleasure with Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius. So I'm getting like devil energy here. Um, the number 10 coming through again with 28, 8 plus 2 is 10. So yeah, 10 energy. So the number 10 could be very significant for someone. Um, so 28 could be significant as well. Someone could be 28. Um, we've got 20 loving and trusting yourself with the sun in Leo. So someone could have sun in Leo, possibly. They love your hair, pile um, three. They, or five, gosh, I keep doing that, pile four. Um, they love your hair. Yeah. They think you have the most exquisite face. Uh, 25, creating a new self. They really love your lips. They want to kiss your lips. They love your butt. Oh my gosh, your bum is like no other. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They like praise Jesus. Um, no, but for real, like they're like, hallelujah. Um, 29, the secret naughty feeling, or that secret naughty feeling rather. Um, uh, so Black Moon Lilith in Libra here and um, Moon in... Pisces coming through for this card. Um, yeah, so all 20s here. So you two could be in your 20s some, somewhere in there. Uh, yeah, you could be 20, 25, 28, 29. Um, it don't have to be. They don't have to be significant at all. Um, but just, just seeing that. Divine union coming through with this two and limitless possibility with the zero next to it. Um, the number seven coming through with relationships. They definitely want a relationship with you with that coming through with Libra too. That's interesting. Um, the number 11 with nine and two together. So yeah, they want a new beginning. If you've had a past with this person, they really, they're praying for a new beginning. Um, indulging in the impossible pleasure here. Like they feel like you are like almost like a forbidden fruit to them. And they just like, I'm telling you, they want to, they want to indulge in you pile for, they want to taste you. Um, you know, I'm seeing them, like, they want to lick you from your head to your toes. Uh, yep. That song coming through. Um, but yeah, they do. Um, they could feel like, you know, they feel like a destroyer, which, oh my gosh, uh, ha, ha, that just, I knocked the mic. I hope that wasn't too loud. I apologize. Um, they, <laughs> with the tower card having come through. Yeah. So they could be scared that they would actually destroy you physically just saying like they could be very well endowed um and with this imagery coming through like they could yeah like they could really be scared like of hurting you but at the same time like I don't know like they really loved like the way that you moan and stuff like the way that you like pull your pull their hair pull your hair like um yeah, you two could be into like BDSM, like into like switching roles, like they could like want you to take charge and then they want to take charge, like they might call you like their goddess or something, like yeah, I could definitely see that. Um, they really want to expand with you, like they want to explore the like dark and taboo with you. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, loving and trusting yourself coming through here, they want like in this, like they, there might be like mirrors around and they like, might like want you to like watch yourself get like, yeah. Um, get taken care of by this person. Um, they, they want you to see that happening. Um, I think this is also the universe possibly telling you to love and trust yourself about this, uh, connection. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I could see like also your person thinks that you are a work of art as well. Like 
they have so much love for you, for your body, for your soul, um, creating a new self coming through. Like, yeah, you could be working on like really opening your third, uh, your third eye. Uh, yeah, that wanted to come through, but also opening your throat chakra um, and really stepping into your authentic self. And your person could be watching this and they're just like so impressed with you. Again, I was getting admiration like for multiple reasons. They have, okay, they, they really think you have a nice ass is what I just was about to say. They think you have a really nice butt, like really nice butt, really nice legs. You could be tall. You don't have to be. You just have like, maybe you just have really long legs um, or you just have really nice legs. They really like it. They love your shoulders. They love the way like you look back at them. Like they want you to look back at them. Like, yeah. Um, they do double takes at you all the time. Like, oh man, I'm seeing them like when they scroll like through your like Instagram and stuff, like they just sit there and they stare for a long time. We've got 29, uh, that secret naughty feeling. Yeah, they could be keeping their feelings a secret right now. Like keeping their desires for you a secret um, because like they feel like they're not allowed to have these feelings for you right now um, for some reason. So, uh, but yeah, they like really, they want you to like look back at them like that. Like they might like really want to take you from behind. Um, they could like want you to wear like stockings. Like maybe you'll like be like partially clothed during this, but there's also something about like spanking coming through. So yeah, um, but that's what I'm getting as far as the Oracle goes. So let's get into my Oracle cards. We've got a lot of them to go through today. So we've got Venus and Gemini. Someone could be a Venus in Gemini, um, they could just really love your, like, uh, your connection with one another, like your, um, mental connection specifically, like there could be like a really strong bond, um, intellectually. Uh, and also Venus is in Gemini right now. So maybe this like next what's happening next is happening soon we have workaholics so you or your person could be a workaholic you could be very focused on work right now they could work was significant for them too so um i was getting maybe they're changing their job so yeah that that could be a thing uh don't you find it moving how we're still alone together alone together by delwater gap so yeah like they still they want to be alone with you they they miss being alone with you um they find it really moving when you are alone, like with them, like it's, it's like, it's supposed to be that way. Like the way you talk and the way you're licking your lips, I know you don't bite, or maybe you do, I can do it too. We can make a move. Meteorite by Banks. Yeah. They like, when you lick your lips, when you bite your lip, like they, they're just like, I can do that for you. If you'd like, <laughs> like they, you just, and you probably see it in their eyes, honestly, like they can't hide their lust for you. So yeah, if they're in a, like a distance from you, they're like, thank God. Cause if you saw the way I look at you all the time, it would be game over for everyone. We have Venus and Capricorn. Um, so they could have a Venus and Capricorn or you could, um, there's a very like sensual side to this love. Like during this experience, like they're going to work really hard to like, make sure that you are satisfied. Um, and yeah daddy energy now coming through like i'm getting daddy saturn with capricorn <laughs> um sorry but yeah they they could be uh yeah they could want to be like in daddy energy with you or they want you to like step into your dom energy too um into your daddy energy uh i'm getting like devil energy from this card like they want to just like unleash the two of you and really let out like your wild side you know gossip so maybe gossip was what like if there was a past here like maybe gossip was what like ended the connection possibly um or there could be a lot of gossip about what your person is doing right now or they could be like trying to like find out from other people what's going on with you we've got bored so they could be afraid that you would get bored with them like they just they admire you so much pile four like they think like you've got it all like you were everything that they want in a package. Like 
and they think you're perfect and they're afraid that you would get bored with them graceful they think you're very graceful they love to watch you move oh they love to watch you walk away pile four they love your your butt <laughs> like they love the way it looks when it walks away from them we have i can't even be honest with myself how could i be honest with you um yeah i mean they could be having a hard time being honest with you right now and with themselves like maybe they're just having a hard time like uh being truthful with their feelings for you um maybe they feel like they're not allowed to be maybe this is you like maybe you're having a you know you are having like that throat chakra healing so maybe you're having a hard time being honest with how you feel about this person too just possible white lies maybe they were telling white lies in the past and you found out about it and you decided to leave um they want to tell you the truth they want to be more honest we have guilt coming through they could feel really guilty about this. They could be born in November. Um, you could have met in November. You could be born in November. Scorpio uh, energy coming through or Sagittarius possibly player. Yeah, they could have been a player in their past. They could have lied about this. Um, maybe they were seeing more than one person at the same time and they weren't being forthright about it. Uh, Mercury in Virgo. So uh, they could have Mercury in Virgo, or you could. Um, they could communicate. They love the way that you two are able to communicate at such an intellectual level. That keeps coming through. Like the way that you two connect mentally really turns them on. Um, and it could really turn you on too. Like maybe you've never had a connection like that with someone before. Um, you are the calm in the storm. Yeah, they like. They really miss, if you're not talking right now, like your heart was their safe space and they want to be your safe space too. Um, we've got, you intimidate me. So yeah, like you, you do intimidate them. Like they are scared to move toward you um, because they're afraid that you're going to reject them. Something more than love. How could I deny you? Something more than love by Lyra Lynn. Um, they definitely see you as like a bit of a siren, no matter like what you identify as gender wise. Um, they just, they see you as so sensual, so alluring. Um, but yeah, they, they can't deny you again. Like they feel more than it's more than love. Like it's, yeah. I mean, it's deep. It's deep for you. Um, Hmm, they want to go deep for you. <laughs> and I can tell you, uh, I can tell just what you want. You don't want to be alone. What you know by Tudor Cinema um, Club, sorry. Uh, <laughs> maybe you two are going to like see each other in a club. I'm like, that's how this will take off again. Um, but they could be afraid that this next time, like when it does happen, like they could be afraid that it's just because like you don't want to be alone or you're feeling lonely or something. And they feel like, oh gosh, like this is going to be karma for me for what I did in the past. Um, but I, that's not really like the vibe that I get from you at all pile four. So I think this is just them, uh, hugging you from behind. So yeah, they definitely like want to take you from behind and they might like want to like wrap their arms around you while they do it. Um, and like feel your chest and stuff. Uh, you melt me. Yeah. I mean, you melt them in every way possible. Like you melt their heart, but you also like melt them with your mouth is what I just heard. So, hey, uh, fluorite, they love your creativity. They think you are incredibly beautiful as well. Self-sabotage. Yeah, I was getting that. Like, I think they self-sabotaged this the first time around if they had a first go around with you. If not, like they could be really self-sabotaging this currently regardless, you know, um, charismatic. They love your charisma. They could also be very charismatic. You two could like just find each other very irresistible. We have charming. Oh, they think you're incredibly charming. There's something very charming about your smile something very charming about your voice and your laugh determined they love your determination um and in the bedroom I think you two are gonna like try to like outdo each other in your determination like which is why I think there could be that ten of wands energy where you're like almost like no I can I can do more no anything you can do I can do better kind of energy but like it's for each other so it's it's for a good cause nothing worthwhile is ever easy don't give up um yeah like it, if you have trouble, I don't know, that's very specific, but if you, like, they're going to make sure, like, no matter how long it takes for you to finish, you are going to finish. They will not give up. They will not give up. <laughs> um, and I just got, uh, on a more sweet note, or on a sweeter note, um, 
I just got I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz, which I haven't heard that song in forever, but yeah, they're not going to give up on you. And this love, they know, they know it's it's you, you're the person. Sun and Capricorn, someone could be a Sun and Capricorn. Um, they could really love like just how sensual and earthy you are, how grounded you are, you know, how determined and um, ambitious you are. You could really be stepping into your power into the public eye in some way, like some kind of influencer, possibly jealousy. Um, there could be gossip around you, like people that are really jealous of you right now. Um, maybe this person has been like hearing gossip about you, like people that are really jealous and they're like kind of laughing about it because they're just like, oh, that's silly. You know, um, this person could have been a little bit jealous of you too, though. Like, not gonna lie. They could admire you, but they could be jealous. Um, inner child wounds. So this person could have a lot of inner child wounds that they are healing. I think you have been healing these around your throat chakra specifically. Mercury and Libra. So yeah, a lot of Mercury energy coming through. So they love talking to you. Like they miss talking to you. If you're not talking right now, like they truly miss talking to you more than anything. Um, like, I think you two are going to be talking for a while before this, like, sexual encounter starts. Um, and then it's just going to, like, go and it's going to be a rapid fire. But, like, they miss that part of your relationship. Like, they miss it. We have a pity party coming through. Um, did I get the other side of this? Yes. Uh, so, with pity party going... Um, uh, coming through here they could be throwing themselves a little bit of a pity party or they could have been because like you know they missed out and now they're sad and they want you back oh gosh i just heard i'm always gonna want you back no matter how far i go i'm always gonna want you back yeah um yeah they, they they're they're always going to want you pile four anxiety they could be having anxiety because maybe they don't know if you want them back um like they're really anxious about this no, not gonna lie i want to slow things down so maybe this is what you told them like maybe you were like you know what i don't i don't think i want this right now i don't think this is good for me this isn't in my best interest and you really spoke up for yourself and that made them freaking anxious because they're not used to that like maybe they were used to you sort of being in their pocket and you're like, no, I'm stepping into my power. Mars and Gemini. Yeah. Like you're really finding your voice, really speaking up for yourself, standing up for yourself with Mars energy here. Um, you know, I think that this sexual encounter between the two of you that happens next, like, I, I really do think that it's going to be stemmed from the conversation. Like you two are going to like titillate each other mentally and it's just going to like make you like want to like jump each other's bones even more. We have guarded. Yeah, I think that you are guarding your heart right now. They can feel that too. Again, that makes them anxious. We have ENFP. Someone could be an ENFP here. Um, they miss being able to explore their feelings with you. They miss like going out with you. They miss how intuitive you are how good of like a perception you have on people. We have moon in Libra. So someone could have a moon in Libra here. Um, they miss like expressing their emotions with you. Um, they miss the relationship with you just in general. Like it made them feel so safe and seen. I think this next encounter, you're going to feel very safe and seen. Seductive coming through. Oh, yes. They think you are so seductive. Venus and Virgo. Um, yeah. They, they love you so much, Pile 4. Like, they want to work so hard for this connection. It could be a too little, too late kind of situation, and they are scared of that. They're very anxious, but they want to work hard. They would do anything I heard like just to have another chance with you to to have a do-over um like they want in this this next time like they are going to do everything they can to make you feel good about yourself and for yourself active listener yeah I think that there's going to be a big conversation this this night or this this day um and you're gonna really feel heard 
like I said, really safe and seen and heard tea lover. You could like share a cup of tea. Um, they could like really enjoy that. Like maybe they're a coffee drinker and you're a tea drinker. They really like that. Uh, Jade, someone's name could be Jade. Um, the Jade stone could be very uh, important. I'm getting like Empress energy, even though that's more tied to, for me, the Emerald. Uh, but Jade, uh, yeah, luck and abundance coming through. I think you are stepping into a lucky time in your life. You know, you could have like a Jupiter return happening right now. Um, there is no one like you. I regret not seeing that before. They do. They feel like you're the one that got away and it's killing them. They do not like this new moon um so this past new moon could have been significant or the next new moon coming up could be very significant maybe that's when you're going to talk again um maybe you decided to break things off in the last new moon but new moons are also like a good time um to manifest and so they could be really manifesting this connection back into existence a uh, frenemy could have gotten in the way of the two of you with that gossip energy and the jealousy. Yeah, they could have gotten into this person's ear and head and really made them like think poorly of you in some way. Mercury and Pisces. So again, more Mercury energy here. Um, they dream of conversations with you. Like not only do they replay them in their head in their waking moments, they are dreaming of talking to you. You could be having dreams about them talking to you and they could be literally astral projecting without realizing it or 